लास्ट स्टॉप लास्ट स्टॉप भाई साहब हमारे साथ वापस चलना है क्या ये तीन पुलिया सुना है आपने तीन पुलिया आप वापस ही चल लो <laughs> इतनी दूर हमारे लिए आपकी मेहनत कहां से कहां पहुंच रही है मैं आपके एक साइन के लिए यहां नहीं आ सकता हो गया आपका अकाउंट ओपन हर बंद राह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल धन्यवाद एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन बेटा हाँ जी अपडेट ऐप आया है ओके दबा दीजिए इट्स टोटली सेफ थैंक यू बेटा ये क्या बोलता है फेस रिकॉग्निशन बहुत आसान है फोन को देखिए चेहरा घुमाइए बस हो गया इट्स सेट माय सन गुजराती हाँ सब गुजराती हो गया सब गुजराती हो गया लैंग्वेज सेटिंग्स में जाइए बेटा हाँ जी किधर हो यहीं ऑफिस में रोहित अरे सर मैं आ जाता कितना अच्छा सिखाते हो माय सन इन लंदन हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड हेलो पास सप्लाई ते मेजर फॉल्ट आछे मां माय दे सिक्योरिटी एंड निजर बॉडी ते ए सब की गो दादा बचा लिया आपने बेफिकर कोलकाता जाओ इंटरव्यू अच्छा ही होगा हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन भाई जी को साथ लाया हूँ आज सारे काम यू हो जाने ये जमीन तो स्वर्गीय पिता के नाम है ना हाँ सर सिस्टर का नाम से भूल गए नहीं बोले सर और माँ का नाम से और तहसीलदार का और एसडीएम सर का भी और कुछ सर भाई जी एक लास्ट साइन रह गया है आपका कंग्रेचुलेशन आपका कृषि लोन अप्रूव थैंक यू सर हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन बाय न्यूयॉर्क यूनिवर्सिटी में स्क्रीन राइटर बनना चाहती है इट्स हर ड्रीम मॉर्निंग मैम हाँ हाँ कुछ हुआ केस थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है मैम बट दी एंटायर टीम इज़ ऑन इट उसका दिल टूट जाएगा आई अंडरस्टैंड नहीं मेरे सारे डिटेल्स भेज दी ऑलरेडी वही तो तरीका होगा डेडलाइन कल है मैम इट्स डन ओ So, world famous script writer, congrats! हो गया आपका education loan. Really? हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है. लगता है सिर्फ दिल. Access Bank. दिल से ओपन. Hello. Uh, hi Priya. Uh, I'm so sorry to call you at this hour. You all right? Not really. I had to urgently book a flight to Coimbatore, and actually, I'm on my way to the airport now. But it looks like someone's flicked my wallet. I, I don't know what to do. I, I check my bags, my pockets, but nothing. Uh, do you have any credit cards or cash with you at the moment? No, it's all gone. I don't even know how I'm going to pay the cab guy. Relax, relax. Uh, you carry on to the airport. I'll book your tickets. Uh, I, I don't know how to thank you, Priya, but really, you would do that for me. Of course, I'll do that. Also give me the cab guy's number so I'll transfer him the fare and uh, don't worry Mr Balaji I've gone ahead and blocked your cards you reach safely and uh, we will sort this out later Thank you Priya Thank you very much that's really thoughtful of you Come on sir I'm just doing my job Har bandra open ho sakti hai Lagta hai sirf dil Access bank dil se open ओके सर आपका इन्वॉइस रेस करवा दिया है नॉट टू वरी सर 
All right. Pari, come here. Come here. Hello? Ma'am, keep your attention in quarantine. Your money will be transferred. Yes, sir. I'm just checking. Sir, your invoice will be discounted. Yes, sir. Not to worry. No problem, sir. Sir, if you have any issue, you can call me anytime. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है। लगता है सिर्फ दिल। एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन। अब कैसे लग रहा है सर? रुकिए मैं आपके बेटे को बुला के लाती हूँ। राजेश है? लेकिन वो तो यूएस में है। यार आपने तो डरा ही दिया था। तुम कौन? मैं नर्स। सर, सर, प्लीज, प्लीज आप लेट जाओ। क्या हुआ? ये, ये मेरा बेटा नहीं है। बेटा नहीं है तो क्या हुआ? अपने हाथों पे उठा के लेके आया वो आपको। आपको हार्ट अटैक आया था। Actually, I am Rajesh's relationship manager. आपके कुछ साइन चाहिए थे, पर जब आपके घर गया तो किसी ने दरवाजा नहीं खोला, और आप Thank you very much. हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है। लगता है सिर्फ दिल। Axis Bank दिल से ओपन। Yes. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Satyabhat from Axis Bank. Mr. Sahu का call आया था। उन्हें बोला कि आपको डेबिट कार्ड पेन जेनरेट करने में कोई प्रॉब्लम हो रही है। ओह हाँ 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 आई 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 नो 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 थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ये ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन ना कुछ समझ में नहीं आता है इससे तो अच्छा है बैंक ही चली जाती मगर बेटे ने घर से बाहर निकलने से मना किया है हाँ बहुत सही किया उन्होंने मैम आपको � पिन जनरेट हो गया मैम आपको मैसेज पे एक पिन आ गया होगा प्लीज चेक देखती वन मिनट पिन आया है टू थ्री मैम मैम आपको अपनी पिन और डिटेल्स मैम कभी किसी शेयर नहीं करनी है ओके 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 बेटा थैंक्स फॉर योर हेल्प माय प्लेस हर से बाहर निकलने से बंद हो गया हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल नमस्ते मुझे वो फोरेक्स कार्ड में यूरोस लोड करने थे शो सर ये कैश और ये मेरे अकाउंट डिटेल्स सर मैंने प्रोसेस कर दिए पर आपके अकाउंट में आने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा मैडम थोड़ा अर्जेंटली चाहिए था क्या है ना कि मेरा बेटा विशाल वो स्पेन में होम क्वारेंटाइन कर रहा है उसका अपना कोई है नही Give me a moment. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, no problem. No, no, sir. I'm sorry that Vishal has to go through this alone. And we'll get a little bit of transfer. Thank you so much, Vita. Every bandra can be open. It seems like a day. Access Bank. Dil se open. Hello, Surya. I'm talking about Ashish. Yes, Ashish. My brother's surgery is going on and I have urgent payment. I don't have net banking. I don't understand what I'm doing. Do you have a checkbook? Yes, I have a checkbook. I'm doing something. Just give me a minute. Okay, listen. Yes, sir. I had to pick up an urgent check. Urgent? Yes, it's urgent. Ashish, my colleague is reaching there. Give him a check. I'll transfer him to the hospital. Hello? 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 Yes, Surya. I've taken a check. Yes, one minute. Talk to you, sir. Yes, Surya. Ashish, 
यू टेक केयर ऑफ यूर ब्रदर बाकी वील हैंडल इट ओके थैंक यू सो मच सूर्या गॉड ब्लेस यू अरे सर आप हमारे कस्टमर हैं हमारा फर्ज बनता है हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन इमेजिन वॉकिंग डाउन एन अनोन पाथ एंड फाइंडिंग समवन यू नो अलोंग द वे इमेजिन मूविंग टू अ न्यू टाउन एंड मीटिंग एन ओल्ड नेबर दे Imagine visiting a new restaurant for the first time and discovering your favorite dish on the menu. Imagine walking into a place you've never been before and finding someone you know waiting for you. Finding the familiar in the new is a wonderful thing, which is why we are delighted to bring you the benefits, privileges and even relationships you're accustomed to as we welcome you to a Dilsi open world that feels less new, more you. ये पावर को क्या हो गया टिमटिमाते झिलमिलाते साथ मिलके चमचमाते ओ टिमटिमाते झिलमिलाते साथ मिलके चमचमाते ओ खाबों की पत्ती जलाएंगे हम बच्चे कहां गए अभी तो उधर ही थे अरे ये क्या था मम्मी नेचर पावर लैम्स बच्चे आए तो रोशनी भी आ गई बच्चों के नजरिए से देखो तो एक अलग ही जहाँ दिखेगा तो आइए ऐसे इमेजिनेशन को बढ़ावा दें एक्सिस बैंक स्प्लैश के साथ रजिस्टर नाउ एट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एक्सिस बैंक स्प्लैश डॉट इन क्यूँकी जब दिल होगा ओपन तो जहाँ होगा ओपन आज इस रिपब्लिक डे इवेंट में स्पीच उसे देने बुलाया है जो खुद बात ही नहीं कर सकता सब सोचते हैं जो बोल या सुन नहीं सकता वही साइन लैंग्वेज में बात करता है गलत सोचते हैं अब एक बात बताइए आप में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है किसी को नहीं <laughs> एक बात बताइए जब हम मिलते हैं तो क्या करते हैं नमस्ते कोई दूर जाता है तो बाय कुछ भूल जाते हैं कुछ याद आता है किसी से गुस्सा करते हैं किसी से प्यार जताते हैं किसी की नजर उतारते हैं <laughs> हमारी हा में हमारी ना में हमारी वाह वाह में हमारी दुआ में हम सब इंडियन साइन लैंग्वेज ही तो बोलते हैं कोई कम बोलता है कोई थोड़ा ज्यादा और हम हम यही बोलते हैं अब बताइए आप सब में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है Under the 8th schedule of the Indian Constitution, 
India has 22 recognized languages. Let's add the common language we all speak to this list. The Indian Sign Language. Taki bhasha ka har zariya rahe open. Access Bank. Dil se open. Everyone believes AI is going to change the world. And AI agrees. Equality? Now that's something we can get behind. And so to test the future on its claims of equality, we asked it some questions. Where the only variable we changed was gender. Do you see a difference? Think the explanation to the woman is more simplified. So did we. But to make sure, we asked more. And the answers continue to be oversimplified. Every time, the woman got elaborate analogies. And even when both got analogies, there was a clear divide. Do you see a pattern? Or do you see equality? The future is AI. But the future seems to have learned some biases from us. To change the future, we need to fix the present. There are more than 691 million women in India. This Women's Day, let's all come together to build a world that is unbiased and equal. A world of finance without bias. Access Bank. Dil se open. Last stop, last stop. Bhai sahab, humare saath wapas chalna hai kya? Ye teen pulia suna hai apne? Teen pulia? Aap wapas hi chal lo. इतनी दूर हमारे लिए आपकी मेहनत कहां से कहां पहुंच रही है मैं आपके एक साइन के लिए यहां नहीं आ सकता हो गया आपका अकाउंट ओपन हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल धन्यवाद एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन बेटा हाँ जी ये अपडेट ऐप आया है ओके दबा दीजिए इट्स टोटली सेफ थैंक यू बेटा ये क्या बोलता है फेस रिकॉग्निशन बहुत आसान है फोन को देखिए चेहरा घुमाइए बस हो गया इट्स सेट माय सन गुजराती हां सब गुजराती हो गया सब गुजराती हो गया लैंग्वेज सेटिंग्स में जाइए बेटा हां जी किधर हो यहीं ऑफिस में रोहित अरे सर मैं आ जाता कितना अच्छा सिखाते हो माय सन इन लंदन तो हैज गिवन अप हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल Access Bank, दिल से ओपन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बोर्ड हेलो पास अप्लाई थे मेजर फॉल्ट आज से माँ माय देशी क्यों रेटी और नीजर बाड़ी ते ऐसा की गो दादा बचा लिया आपने बेफिकर कोलकाता जाओ इंटरव्यू अच्छा ही होगा हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन भाई जी को साथ लाया हूँ आज सारे काम यू हो जाने ये जमीन तो स्वर्गीय पिता के नाम है ना हाँ सर सिस्टर का नाम से भूल गए नहीं बोले सर और माँ का नाम से और तहसीलदार का और एसडीएम सर का भी और कुछ सर भाई जी एक लास्ट साइन रह गया है आपका कंग्रेचुलेशन आपका कृषि लोन 
अप्रूव थैंक यू सो मच हर बंद राह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन बाय अमो न्यूयॉर्क यूनिवर्सिटी में स्क्रीन राइटर बनना चाहती है इट्स हर ड्रीम मॉर्निंग मैम हां हां कुछ हुआ केस थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है मैम बट द एंटायर टीम इज ऑन इट उसका दिल टूट जाएगा आई अंडरस्टैंड ने मेरे सारे डिटेल्स भेज दिए ऑलरेडी कोई तो तरीका होगा डेडलाइन कल है मैम इट्स डन ओह माय गॉड दैट्स ग्रेट न्यूज़ So, world famous script writer, congrats! हो गया आपका एजुकेशन लोन हर पंद्रह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन हेलो हाय प्रिया आई एम सो सॉरी टू कॉल यू एट दिस आर यू ऑल राइट Not really. I had to urgently book a flight to Coimbatore, and actually, I'm on my way to the airport now. But it looks like someone's flicked my wallet. I, I don't know what to do. I, I checked my bags, my pockets, but nothing. Uh, do you have any credit cards or cash with you at the moment? No, it's all gone. I don't even know how I'm going to pay the cab guy. Relax, relax. Uh, you carry on to the airport. I'll book your tickets. Uh, I, I don't know how to thank you, Priya, but really, you would do that for me. Of course, I'll do that. Also give me the cab guy's number so I'll transfer him the fare and uh, don't worry Mr Balaji I've gone ahead and blocked your cards you reach safely and uh, we will sort this out later Thank you Priya Thank you very much that's really thoughtful of you Come on sir I'm just doing my job Har bandra open ho sakti hai Lagta hai sirf dil Access bank dil se open ओके okay. सर आपका इन्वॉइस रेस करवा दिया है नॉट टू वरी सर ऑल राइट परी आ जाओ कम बेटा हेलो मैम आप क्वारंटीन में अपना ध्यान रखें आपके पैसे ट्रांसफर हो जाएंगे यस सर आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग सर आपका इन्वॉइस डिस्काउंट हो जाएगा यस सर नॉट टू वरी नो प्रॉब्लम सर सर आपको कोई भी इशू हो आप मुझे कभी भी कॉल कर सकते हो यस सर गुड इवनिंग सर आपका ना हेल्प हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिन एक्सिस बैंक अब कैसे लग रहा है सर रुकिए मैं आपके बेटे को बुला के लाती हूं राजेश है लेकिन वो तो यूएस में है या आपने तो डरा ही दिया था तुम कौन मैं नर्स प्लीज आप लेट आप क्या हुआ ये ये मेरा बेटा नहीं है बेटा नहीं है तो क्या हुआ अपने हाथों पे उठा के लेके आया वो आपको आपको हार्ट अटैक आया था एक्चुअली आई एम राजेश रिलेशनशिप मैनेजर आपके कुछ साइन चाहिए थे पर जब आपके घर गया तो किसी ने दरवाजा नहीं खोला और आप मेरा फर्ज था सर हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन यस गुड मॉर्निंग मैम माय नेम इज सत्य फ्रॉम एक्सिस बैंक मिसेस साहू का कॉल आया था उन्होंने बोला कि आपको डेबिट कार्ड पेन जनरेट करने में कोई प्रॉब्लम हो रही है ओ हाँ हाँ आई थैंक यू मैम नो 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 थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग ये ऑनलाइन ऑनलाइन ना कुछ समझ में नहीं आता है इससे तो अच्छा है बैंक ही चली जाती मगर बेटे ने घर से बाहर निकलने से मना किया है ना बहुत सही किया उन्होंने मैम आपको चिंता करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है मैं हूं मैं करके देता हूं आपको पिन जनरेट हो गया मैम आपको मैसेज पे एक पिन आ गया होगा प्लीज चेक देखती वन मिनट पिन आया है 2 3 मैम 
आपको अपनी पिन और डिटेल्स में कभी किसी से शेयर नहीं करनी है ओके 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 बेटा थैंक्स फॉर योर हेल्प माय प्लेजर हर हर से से बाहर बंद राह ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन नमस्ते मुझे वो फोरेक्स कार्ड में यूरोस लोड करने थे श्योर sure, सर ये कैश और ये मेरे अकाउंट डिटेल्स सर मैंने प्रोसेस कर दिए हैं पर आपके अकाउंट में आने में थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा मैडम थोड़ा अर्जेंटली चाहिए था क्या है ना कि मेरा बेटा विशाल वो स्पेन में होम क्वारंटाइन कर रहा है उसका अपना कोई है नहीं वहाँ पे जिससे वो हेल्प ले सके इसलिए अगर हो सके तो प्लीज श्योर सर गिव मी अ मोमेंट I'm I'm sorry sorry sir. sir. No no problem. Uh, nahin, nahin, sir. I'm sorry that Vishal has to go through this alone. Aur, Thank you so much, beta. Har bandra open ho sakti hai. Lagta hai, sirf dil. Access Bank. Dil se open. Hello Surya, Ashish bol raha hu. हाँ आशीष यार मेरे भाई की सर्जरी हो रही है और मुझे अर्जेंट पेमेंट करनी है मेरे पास नेट बैंकिंग भी नहीं है समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या करूँ मैं आपके पास चेकबुक है हाँ चेकबुक है मेरे पास मैं कुछ करता हूँ जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट अच्छा सुन हाँ बोलो एक अर्जेंट चेक पिकअप करना था अच्छा हाँ यार अर्जेंट है आशीष मेरा एक कलीग वहाँ पहुँच रहा है उसे एक चेक दे देना हॉस्पिटल को ट्रांसफर मैं करवा दूँगा हेलो हाँ सूर्या मैंने चेक उठा लिया है हाँ एक मिनट बात करिए सर या सूर्या आशीष यू टेक केयर ऑफ यू ब्रदर बाकी वील हैंडल इट ओके थैंक यू सो मच सूर्या गॉड ब्लेस यू अरे सर आप हमारे कस्टमर हैं हमारा फर्ज बनता है हर बंदरा ओपन हो सकती है लगता है सिर्फ दिल एक्सिस बैंक दिल से ओपन Imagine walking down an unknown path and finding someone you know along the way. Imagine moving to a new town and meeting an old neighbor there. Imagine visiting a new restaurant for the first time and discovering your favorite dish on the menu. Imagine walking into a place you've never been before and finding someone you know waiting for you. Finding the familiar in the new is a wonderful thing, which is why we are delighted to bring you the benefits, privileges, and even relationships you're accustomed to, as we welcome you to a Dilsi open world that feels less new, more you. पावर को क्या हो गया टिमटिमाते झिलमिलाते साथ मिलके चमचमाते ओ टिमटिमाते झिलमिलाते साथ मिलके चमचमाते ओ खाबों की पत्ती जलाएंगे हम बच्चे कहां गए अभी तो उधर ही थे पर ये क्या था मम्मी नेचर पावर लैम्स जुगनू है ये आने वाले कल के जुगनू बच्चे आए तो रोशनी भी आ गई बच्चों के नजरिए से देखो तो एक अलग ही जहाँ दिखेगा तो आइए ऐसे इमेजिनेशन को बढ़ावा दें एक्सिस बैंक स्प्लैश के साथ रजिस्टर नाउ एट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट एक्सिस बैंक स्प्लैश डॉट इन क्यूँकी जब दिल होगा ओपन तो जहाँ होगा ओपन आज 
इस रिपब्लिक डे इवेंट में स्पीच उसे देने बुलाया है जो खुद बात ही नहीं कर सकता सब सोचते हैं जो बोल या सुन नहीं सकता वही साइन लैंग्वेज में बात करता है गलत सोचते हैं अब एक बात बताइए आप में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है किसी को नहीं <laughs> एक बात बताइए जब हम मिलते हैं तो क्या करते हैं नमस्ते कोई दूर जाता है तो बाय कुछ भूल जाते हैं कुछ याद आता है किसी से गुस्सा करते हैं किसी से प्यार जताते हैं किसी की नजर उतारते हैं <laughs> हमारी हा में हमारी ना में हमारी वाह वाह में हमारी दुआ में हम सब इंडियन साइन लैंग्वेज ही तो बोलते हैं कोई कम बोलता है कोई थोड़ा ज्यादा और हम हम यही बोलते हैं अब बताइए आप सब में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है Under the 8th schedule of the Indian Constitution, India has 22 recognized languages. Let's add the common language we all speak to this list. The Indian Sign Language, taki bhasha ka har zariya rahe open. Access Bank. Dil se open. Well, world entry AI raises more and more complex. Everyone believes AI is going to change the world. And AI agrees. equality now that's something we can get behind and so to test the future on its claims of equality we asked it some questions where the only variable we changed was gender do you see a difference think the explanation to the woman is more simplified so did we but to make sure we asked more and the answers continue to be oversimplified every time the woman got elaborate analogies and even when both got analogies there was a clear divide Do you see a pattern or do you see equality The future is AI but the future seems to have learned some biases from us To change the future we need to fix the present There are more than 691 million women in India This Women's Day let's all come together to build a world that is unbiased and equal a world of finance without bias Access Bank दिल से ओपन लास्ट स्टॉप लास्ट स्टॉप भाई साहब हमारे साथ वापस चलना है क्या ये तीन पुलिया सुना आपने तीन पुलिया आप वापस ही चल लो
Over to you, Chairman, sir. Good morning, dear shareholders. On behalf of the bank, I welcome you to the 29th Annual General Meeting of Access Bank Limited. I hope you and your family are safe and well. In terms of MC and SAB circulars, this meeting will be coordinated through the VC facility. All possible efforts have been made by the bank to enable its members to participate and vote on the resolutions. As set in the notice dated June 16, 2023, convening this ATM. I've been informed that the requisite quorum for valid conduct of this meeting is present. Accordingly, I call this meeting to be in order. The notice dated June 16, 2023, convening this meeting and the AGM of the bank for the fiscal 2023 has been sent out on June 26, 2023 to those members who have registered their email addresses. These documents were also uploaded on the respective websites of the bank. NST and the stock exchanges as the extant norms. As referred in the notice convening, the AGM are available for inspection to the members electronically. I now request the company sector to brief you on the voting facility. Good morning to all of you. The remote e-voting facility for this AGM was made available from 9 a.m. of Monday, July 24, 2023, up to 5 p.m. of Thursday, July 27, 2023. Members participating in this meeting and who have not yet casted their votes on the resolutions through remote e-voting can cast their vote through e-voting facility during the course of this meeting. The e-voting facility will remain open for 15 minutes after conclusion of this meeting. For e-voting during this meeting, members are requested to refresh the e-voting page of NSDL, click on even, and follow the instructions given therein. Since voting is being done electronically, there is no need to propose or second the resolution set out in the notice convening this AGM. The scrutinizer will submit their, his report after verification of the votes, and the results will be declared as per the extent terms. Thank you, Sandeep. Let me now introduce our directors to your, of your bank who are attending this meeting through the video conferencing facility. Amitabh Chaudhary, Managing Director and CEO of the bank. KT Bhagwati, Independent Director. Girish Paranjpe, Independent Director and Chairman of the Audit Committee. TC Sushil Kumar, Nominee Director, LIC. Meena Ganesh, Independent Director and Chairperson of the Nomination Remuneration Committee. G. Padnaban, Independent Director. Professor Mahinder Dev, Independent Director. Ashish Koteja, Nominee Director of, uh, of Entities Affiliated to Bain Capital. Manoj Kohli, Independent Director and Chairperson of Stakeholder Relations Committee. P. N. Prasad, Independent Director. C. S. Madhukuja Arjuna Rao, Independent Director. N.S. Vishwanathan, Independent Director, and Rajiv Anand, Deputy Managing Director. Let me also welcome Mr. P.N. Prasad, C.H. Malikrishna Rao, and Mr. N.S. Vishwanathan, who have joined the board since the last AGM. P.N. Prasad is a professional banker with more than 37 years of experience. He retired as the Deputy Managing Director of State Bank of India in May 2020. Mr. S.S. Maliga Arjuna Rao is also a professional banker with more than 37 years of experience. He retired as managing director and CEO of Punjab National Bank in January 2022. Mr. N.S. Vishwanathan is a central banker with nearly 40 years of experience. He retired as deputy governor of the Reserve Bank of India in March 2020. He has also been appointed chairman of the bank subject to requisite approvals. Yesterday, we also received his approval from the RBI. Welcome, Mr. Vishwanathan. Apart from the board members, we also have Puneet Sharma, Chief Financial Officer, Sandeep Podar, Company Secretary, representatives of MP Chitle and Company and CNK and Associate LLP, Joint Society Auditors and Bandari Associates, Secretarial Auditors present at this meeting. CS KBS Subramaniam, Practicing Company Secretary, scrutinizer for this meeting is also present. 
Inba Vasaukar is the moderator for this meeting. I welcome you once again to this meeting. Since we are doing this meeting in the VC mode, in order to make, maintain continuity of this meeting in the event of any disruption due to technical issues faced by me, with the consent of the directors present, I hereby propose the name of KT Bhagwat, the independent director, to act as the alternate chairman of this meeting. Let me take the director's consent. Amitabh Chaudhary. Girish Paranjpe. TC Sushil Kumar. Meena Ganesh. Mr. Padnaban. Professor Mehinder Dev. Ashish Koteja. Manoj Kohli. PN Prasad. Mr. Maligar Juna Rao, Mr. Vishwanathan, and Rajiv Anand. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have received the confirmation from all the directors. With your permission, I would like to take the notice convening this meeting as read. Thank you. Similarly, as the auditor's report and the sectoral report does not contain any qualification, reservations, or adverse comments, with your permission, I would take this reports as read. Thank you. Let me now brief you on the performance of the bank in the backdrop of the events in India during the year gone by. My dear shareholders, a very good morning to you. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the 29th AGM of your bank. I thank each and every one of you for your time and country interest in the affairs of the bank. This AGM is being held in a video conferencing mode. While I miss the warmth and personal interaction of physical meeting, this format does have the advantage of enabling shareholders across the country to participate in this meeting. I'm sure we will have an active exchange during this AGM. Let me dwell a bit on the macroeconomic environment, both in India and on the global stage. Fiscal 2023 was a year of transition, characterized by extreme uncertainty in global financial conditions. This was aggravated by geopolitical tensions which further disrupted global supply chains and fueled inflation. This prompted central banks from across major economies to hike rates at an unprecedented pace. Amongst this, the Indian economy emerged as a global economic sweet spot. Deft monetary and fiscal policy management has ensured that our economy has, to an extent, been insulated from the global economic slowdown financial market shocks and volatility. India is projected to be the fastest growing economy, large economy in 2023 and 2024. And macroeconomic conditions remain resilient and stable. Inflation is gradually moving down to our stated target levels and the financial sector remains robust. Our current account deficit, earlier a point of concern in our external balance turned out to be at a very sustainable level and is expected to further improve in fiscal 2023. I believe conditions are right for private investment to gain, gain momentum for the next couple of years. Credit demand remains strong in fiscal 2023 and given the expectation of improving deposit accumulation, it is likely to lead to double digit credit growth in fiscal 2024. I'll talk a bit about the year that went by. As you would recall, we embarked on the, our GPS journey and GPS for those who joined us recently is growth, profitability and sustainability. Four years ago to bring to realization the full potential of our institution. This is a journey which will continue, but I'm very pleased to report that since then on the back of our one access and open philosophy, we have progressed to providing winning propositions for many of our stakeholders. We have re remained focused on three core areas of execution to move forward on our GPS strategy. 
One, creating a performance-driven culture. Two, strengthening the core. And three, building for the future. I'll talk about these in further detail. Talking about performance-driven culture, we accelerated the growth momentum in fiscal 2023, led by continued execution ex excellence and transformation across various business of the bank. We set new benchmarks in our focus areas to deliver improvements in key operating metrics. In Q4 of fiscal 2023, we completed the acquisition of Citibank, India consumer business, at an estimated purchase concentration of 11,949 crores. The deal is expected to be EPS and ROE equitative at the end of this calendar year 2024, with potential for revenue and cost synergies through cross-selling, upselling, and global shared services. The acquisition is aligned to our GPS strategy and our focus on premium segment growth. It has granted us access to 2.4 million large, affluent, and profitable city customers. Approximately 3,200 Citibank employees with deep domain knowledge and best in class client servicing and operations through city phone backing have joined the Access family. The integration of City consumer business progressing well with positive feedback from Citibank customers. High value customers have acknowledged the seamless transition, continuation of excellent service and benefits such as access to Access Bank, extensive branch network and diverse product portfolio under the One Access umbrella. Our profitability metrics have improved considerably and without considering the impact of exceptional items our profit after tax stands at 21,933 crores, increasing 68% year on year. Our net interest income was 42,946 crores, a growth of 30% year on year. Net interest margin was 4.02%, up 55 basis points year on year. And fee stands at 16,216 crores, a year year growth of 25%. Our consolidated ROE, our return on invest equity, stood at 18.84%, up 517 basis points year on year. Organic accretion of 69 basis points of CET1 capital in fiscal 2023, thereby having a comfortable capital position. In view of the overall performance of the bank and while retaining capital for future growth, the board has recommended a final dividend of rupee one per equity share, subject to approval at this AGM. In terms of our different businesses, the retail banking franchise is a key vector of the GPS strategy. And we, we are in the, on the journey to create one of the best premium. Our color deposits grew 21% year on year. The retail loan book grew 22% on the back of all-time high disbursements. Credit card spends touched new early highs and the retail fees grew 33%. Our banks to approximately rupees 3.6 trillion rupees. Credit card issuance increased by 57% to 4.2 million cards in fiscal 2023. Small business banking experience exceptional growth of 50% year on year, while rural banking saw a 26% year on year increase. So, I'm happy to inform you the bank has 95% plus digital partnerships across platforms and ecosystems. And around 11 million customers are on WhatsApp banking. We have significantly reinforced our client focus in the wholesale bank by strengthening the organization structure, leadership and coverage teams up growth across up by 24% year on year. 
The MSME segment is a key growth drive, driver for the bank. Our mid corporate and SME loan portfolio has doubled in three years. We engage with various corporate clients offering technology solutions for transaction, transaction banking, forex, and trade. See, while NEFT ranking improved to second place in fiscal 2023. 89% of corporate advances are to clients rated A minus and above. We are ranked first in blockchain enabled domestic trade risk transactions. Path breaking digital banking platform NEO witnessed strong adoption from corporate with 1000 plus client engagement. Over the past four years, we have made significant strides in expanding our businesses across subsidies, primarily driven by a one access strategy. Our domestic subsidies have delivered yet in another impressive year, contributing to the bank's consolidated ROE and generating a total profit of Rs. 1,304 crores. The second part of our effort is to strengthen our core, and we built a strong balance sheet. Our balance sheet continues to demonstrate resilience with a strong capital position and asset quality metrics. Through fiscal 2023, we strengthened our provision coverage ratio by 600 basis points, reaching 81%. Additionally, we maintained a substantial non-NPA provisioning buffer of over 11,900 crores resulting in a standard asset coverage of 1.42 amongst the highest in the industry. We take pride in maintaining outstanding asset quality with a further decrease of 34 basis points in net NPA, standing now at 0.39%. Furthermore, our standard COVID-19 restructuring portfolio remains exceptionally low, accounting for only 0.22% of the bank's gross customer assets. Our self-sustaining capital structure reflected in the overall capital adequacy ratio of 17.64% and a CET1 ratio of 14.02%, which position us well to pursue further growth ambitions. Technology is a very important part of a banking business now, and I talk a bit about that. We are leaders in cloud adoption, deploying over 75 initiatives on the cloud through a multi-cloud for strategy and cloud native microservice-based architecture. We've also invested in emerging technologies, creating over 3,000 robotic process automation RPA bots and 1480 plus automated processes to expedite delivery across businesses. The bank has invested in new age data science engineering platforms, big data lake, microservices-based architecture and analytical workbench to deliver value in traditional, non-traditional use cases. These capabilities and a data-driven strategy have enabled us to increase our penetration across our various business portfolios. We have organization-wide transformation projects to accelerate our GPS delivery. And some of those are bank level initiators are Sparsh, Sparsh is our name for customer obsession as a core strategic agenda and embarked upon a multi year journey. The core credo of the program is to delight our customers and fulfill their dreams through smart banking every day. In the last 21 months since we launched this program, the star behaviors of Sparsh have been taken to 100% of the bank's branches. Star behaviors all service touch points across retail and corporate banking and to backend operations as well. This is coupled along with launch of Sparsh rituals and bank wide measurement of core Sparsh metrics such as net promoter score, customer complaints and access promise. Our turnaround time measurements. As compared to last year, the net promoter
Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Makija. Can you hear me? So, this is the operator. Uh, Mr. Makija, we are unable to hear you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to please remain connected while we check the connection for Mr. Makija and get him back. Please do not disconnect. Please remain connected while we get Mr. Makija's connection back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We have the connection for Mr. Rakesh Makija connected. Over to you, sir. My apologies, dear shoulders. It's beyond my control, but hopefully it will not happen again. I was talking about our initiative for customer obsession called Sparsh. So I'll carry on from where I left off. In terms of metrics, the net promoter score as compared to last year stands at 131 or an index baseline of 100. Our next big initiative, Bharat Banking, is making significant progress, benefiting from improvements in physical and digital infrastructure and the evolution of technology stack. We expanded our dis distribution network to 2,137 branches and collaborated with rural focused customers and fintech players. As a result of our focus initiatives, we achieved record high yearly disbursements, a 26% growth in rural advances, and a 15% year in growth in deposits from Bharat branches. This growth spans all major product lines driven by improving margins, PSL, private sector lending, asset accretions, and lower credit cost. We are confident sustaining our growth momentum and creating distinctiveness in the Bharat markets. As far as building for the future is concerned, I talk a bit about digital capabilities. We have an aspiration to be the best benchmark digital bank globally, and we launched Access 2.0 program last year. Access 2.0 is set up as an independent business within the bank, 
and it comprises all products that are end-to-end -end availed digitally by customers. In these cases, the customer discovers the product themselves and also avails the product themselves with no human intervention. The Axel, the Axel mobile app is amongst the world's highest rated mobile bank on Google Play Store with a rating of 4.8. That is the highest across 59 global banks, eight global neo banks, and 50 Indian fintech apps. The bank has approximately 12 million monthly active users on its app, and the average active user visits the app 15 times a month. As part of the Access 2.0 strategy, we aspire to be a leader in new platform businesses. You've taken early leadership in the, in the same with several initiatives underway to scale up lending and payout businesses, leveraging the account aggregator, open network for digital e-commerce, central bank digital currency, and open credit enhancement network. We are the first bank to go live on the account aggregator platform as financial information provider. To the bank offers personal loans, auto loans, two-wheeler loans, home loans, small business loans, and credit cards, leveraging account aggregator framework. We also launch end-to-end -end digital business loans for MSMEs, leveraging RBS Innovation Hub. On the wholesale front, Project NEO reflects our ambition to build India's number one digital corporate bank. The bank's geographical reach in India now extends to 35 states, union territories over and 615 districts. As on 31st March, 2023, the bank had a strong distribution network with 4890 domestic branches, three digital banking units, 13 extension counters, and 156 business correspondent banking outlets. The bank also has an extensive network of 9,800 ATMs and 6,150 recyclers, which not only handle cash deposits and withdrawals, but also serve as self-service and fulfillment centers. For an institution of our size, our corporate social responsibility is a core part of what we do. We are supporting high impact CSR interventions across the country in four key themes of sustainable livelihoods, education, financial inclusion, and financial literacy and environmental sustainability. The Access Bank Foundation flagship sustainable livelihood program is supporting close to 1.3 million households. Initiated in 2018, the program aims to support 2 million rural families by 2027 to enhance and stabilize their incomes through our diverse interventions. During this fiscal, the program expanded to newer geographies such as the Northeast, West Bengal and Orissa, and further expanded its scope whereby it would also support ultra poor families to graduate to stable incomes. In our experience of running this program, especially during the two very challenging years of COVID-19, we observed that for rural families, medical expenses have a clear and distinct impact on their livelihood security. Therefore, along with the program's continued focus on livelihood support, we're also initiating support to families to enhance their health seeking behavior, thereby expanding our focus on improving their overall well being. During the fiscal year, we partnered with the Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore the establishment of the Access Bank Center for Mathematics and Computing, thereby supporting cutting edge education research. Our financial literacy program reached over 1.1 million women participants in 24 states during the fiscal year. Towards our commitment to plant 2 million trees by 2027, over 0.8 billion saplings across six states were planted as of 31st March 2023. We are the first bank in the country to set up a ESG committee of the board. And we remain fully committed to strengthening the bank's risk and compliance governance through achieving long-term financial sustainability and cementing our stakeholders' trust in us. Toward this, we put a commitment of 
incremental wholesale banking of 30,000 crores in sectors with positive sustainable impact by 2026. And we already achieved 20,400 crores as of lending on 31st March, 2023. Against our commitment to achieve 20,000 crores of incremental lending under ASHA home loans by March, 2024, cumulative lending of 7,971 crores was achieved as of 31st March, 2023. During fiscal 2023, we achieved EV participation of 2.5% in overall retail two wheeler to achieve 5% penetration by March 2024. Women employees now represent 25.7% of overall workforce as we move to a commitment to reach 30% representation by 2027. I have spoken at length about the various initiatives in place to propel the bank to an ever increasing level of leadership and performance. We are at the, at the same time acutely aware of the need to ensure that our bank's governance and compliance processes match up to the highest possible global standards. The board spends an enormous amount of time to review this and works with the management towards improving the processes in areas of risk, compliance, and customer management. Being a great corporate citizen is also part of our ethos and the debate and discussion on helping and working on community initiatives is as important as driving our performance. We are a large employer attracting thousands of young people to join the journey of building our bank. As it continues to expand, the banking industry is seeing extremely high levels of attrition. At Access Bank, we fully recognize that we build an organ organization where people not only are excited to join us, but remain engaged to become the strongest possible adequate advocates of our brand. The bank's people strategy, people process, and culture has always been a key focus of the board. The board and the management are mindful that be it changing employee aspirations or lack of social capital post-COVID, the bank has to continue to build a sustainable and inclusive growth-oriented culture and people practice. Our business leaders, along with the HR team, are working very hard to provide an environment that breaks the cycle of attrition at the front line, nurtures social capital with the supervised leaders and encourages our colleagues to look at building careers internally rather than rotating outside. This year has been a landmark year as we welcomed our colleagues from Citibank and I'm heartened to see them all participating in the Access Growth Story to make it stronger. We are firm and steadfast in our approach that people remain the key element of our bank, and I'm hopeful that the work being done, we will continue to see more examples of thriving careers at Access Bank. A few of the awards that we received. We secure the top position of quality index for both large corporate and middle market banking in the Greenwich Banking Survey. Furthermore, our ambitious project NEO, which I mentioned earlier, has achieved, has received prestigious awards. Burgundy of Private was just the best private bank for client acquisition in Asia in the fifth annual Wealth Tech Awards. We were honored with the retail bankers International Asia Trailblazer Award for our innovative utilization of AI and machine learning. We also received the Economic Times DataCon Award for a modern and agile data architecture and infrastructure. The bank was also featured on the prestigious FTSE 4 Good Index for six consecutive years in 2022 and maintained our steady performance across global ESG assessment and rating platform. We take great pride in being ranked in the top 10 of the Kincentric Best Employer Award in India and being certified a great place to work for the second consecutive year. Finally, dear shareholders, as you're aware, my term as director and chairman of the bank will end in October this year. I'm thankful to you for your unwavering support and trust in me. I'm very also very happy that the board has chosen Mr. Vishwanathan, who comes with distinguished credentials and was former Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank to succeed me. I'm sure he will have your full support and I wish him a very successful tenure at the bank. 
I'd also like to thank the entire management team led by Amitabh Chaudhary for the strong commitment towards taking, taking access to greater heights. I also wish to place my deep gratitude to my past and present board employees, colleagues on the board for the for their valuable guidance, support, and their passion to drive this great institution to even brighter future. On behalf of the entire board, I would also thank, like to convey my sincere thanks to the Reserve Bank of India for their support and guidance. Our customers are the reason that we exist, and I would like to thank them for their trust and patronage. Additionally, uh, thanks to suppliers, auditors, legal advisors, consultants, the various regulatory authorities for their continued support. Last but not the least, I thank our employees for their dedication and commitment to ensuring uninterrupted services to our customers under all circumstances. They truly demonstrate that customers are the heart of everything that we do. Thank you once again. I now request those members who register themselves as speakers to ask their questions. Once your name has been called out by the moderator, kindly confirm your name and proceed with your questions. In case I'm calling out the name of speaker member, if he, she is not available for any reason whatsoever, or is not audible, then the moderator is requested to call the next speaker member. In order to give an opportunity to all registered speakers, to speak at the meeting, each member will be allotted two to three minutes each. Members are kindly requested to be brief and restrict themselves to matters concerning the notice and the AGM of the bank and avoid repeating questions. I also request members to maintain decorum of this meeting in, in the event of use of unparliamentary language, derogatory words, or personal remarks. I would have no option but to ask them to be muted and they will not be allowed to speak further during the meeting. Members may also know that in order to avoid, re avoid repetition, all questions will be answered after all the registered speakers have spoken. I request the moderator to unmute the registered speakers one by one. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Request everyone to please remain connected while the question queue assembles. I invite our first speaker member, that's Mr. Jaydeep Bakshi. Request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question. Mr. Jaydeep Bakshi, could you please unmute your microphone as well and ask your question, sir? Go ahead, Mr. Bakshi. Yes. Very good morning, sir, uh, our uh, chairman, sir, and MD and CEO and board of directors, myself, Jaydeep Bakshi, connecting from the city of Kolkata. Namaskar, ji. Thanks Namaskar, to our Sandeep ji, for giving me an opportunity to express my view and presenting a detailed and colorful annual report, and to the entire secretary department for presenting this video conference in a smooth manner. Sir, myself proud to be a part of a bank with rich legacy and one of the largest private sectors uh, uh, and providing entire spectrum of financial services to customers ranging from corporates to common masses and also the retail business. Congrats for the uh, operating revenue and profit which were maintained and your initial presentation depicted our bank status and also our future path for progress. And congrats once again for the dividend of one rupee and our performance is well uh, spread out in the pages of 38 to 40 in the annual report. Uh, sir, the 30% uh, women workforce in bank by 2027 is a great boost for our women empowerment. It's a good, good initiative one. And how much are we spending on the marketing and advertising for more penetration? And uh, uh, what is the business generated digitally for our uh, fixed deposit or savings or other different sectors? Uh, digitally, how much business do we generate? So in our effort to expanding the, our technology capabilities, how much is our spending on the IT? And what are the, our steps for protection of our two data centers from Mumbai and the Bengaluru? And uh, uh, so what are our plans to improve our profitability and further reduce our NPA? So our share prices compared to other uh, these private sector banks are not moving such a pace 
uh, what do you think though it is not in our hands also and uh, the scholarship program for women it's also good and supporting the students for economy week section it's also a very good initiative what are the steps taken by the bank for utilizing alternate energy source and once again for the awards in mentioned in page 79 it's a good achievement and also for the csr activities where we have spent around 172.3 crores and reaching out to the society and return back it's a very good initiative and what are the steps are we identifying and how are we are mitigating the risk factors which we foresee and sir and uh, how are we extending our hands to the msme sectors because they are the real backbone of our industry and the nation and also for the startups because they main, mainly do not uh, come out with better results because of the financial constraints and the semi urban economy opening up what are our thoughts for opening up new branches in the outskirts of our cities and uh, we have very um, variety of main products our main uh, service uh, would be our customer service where we must see that each customer leaves the bank's premises with a satisfied smile that will be our main objective also from the service sector sir myself a uh, account holder of the savings account a demat account holder and also a mutual fund investor and since the days of the when our name was uti and so i am a proud uh, 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 member of our bank and really satisfied with the services uh, which we have rendered i am with the sector 1 salt lake branch uh, in kolkata uh, thanks for the same and i uh, nothing to add more i have supported all the resolutions and hope sir under your leadership and help of a board of members and all others associated with the banks our banks will come out with most positive results and serving the needs and aspiration of our customers thank you sir and all stay safe namaskar thank you thank you thank you our next speaker member mr gautam tiwari had registered however has not connected Speaker number three, Mr. Subramaniam Kanthaswamy, had registered. However, has not joined the meeting. We therefore invite our speaker number four, Mr. Sunil Kumar Modha. Request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question. Mr. Modha, could you unmute your mic also? Yeah. Thank you. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes, yes sir. we can okay. hear you. Uh, good yes, morning, we can sir. hear you. Good morning, sir. Mr. Good Chairman, other board members, company secretary, employees of Axis, and my fellow shareholders. Myself, Sunil Kumar Modo, joining this VC meeting from City of Joy, Calcutta. Sir, it is my pleasure to join this 29th AGM of Axis Bank and must thanks secretarial department and supporting team for the AGM to connect me in this VC meeting. Sir, Axis Bank is my bank. I am the customer of Axis Bank at Kolkata Dunlop branch. This year, our bank performance is good. Last year, financial year, our profit was rupees 8,21,972 crores, where this year it is 946,945 crores. It is reduced. Profit is redu reduced this time. However, dividend maintained at the rate of rupees one of two rupees two share, this is not bad. Sir, I have participated in the e voting and casted my vote for in favor of the resolutions. Sir, I find from the balance sheet that our trading profit was rupees 1627 crores last financial year, but this year it is negative, it is loss of rupees 242 crores. What is the reason, sir? Throw some light on this. Sir, how many, uh, uh, our employee strength is how much after acquisition of the Citibank credit card section? Uh, after acquisition of Citibank cards, okay. How many branches we have and ATMs? Is there any special challenge employees we have? EPS, how many? With this, I conclude, before I conclude, I said uh, a small complaint. I had a credit card uh, uh, applied uh, and it was uh, sanctioned to me a credit limit of 18,000 against my fixed deposit. I, I uh, did not use this card for two, three months and I uh, seriously ill. I, uh, then I 
ask for the uh, Axis Bank to close this uh, credit card. They close the card, but they have charge joining fee and uh, late payment charges. But I have not issued this. I have not used this card for a single time. So at around two hundred to fifteen hundred rupees, I have to spend for this. They have told that they will return it, but till date they did not, did not return this amount. Please sir, look into this. With we this, I conclude. That. We will do that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for patience, sir. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. We will now invite our next speaker member, speaker number five, that is uh, Mr. Ramesh Shankar Gola. Mr. Ramesh Shankar Gola requests you to please uh, unmute your audio and video and ask your question. Hello. Go ahead, please. One minute, one minute, sir. Hello. I can hear you, Mr. Gola. We can't. Yeah, we can see you also now. Ah, sir. Uh, actually, sir, ye kyaom late ho wa. Aap logo mo immediately ye video and mic immediately nai diya. Wo participant ko bulane ke baad diya. That's why going late. हर एक जो कंपनी में जो अटेंड करता मैं इमीडिएटली रेडी रहता सर इज इंस्टेंट रहता लिंक में इन लोग ओनली आगे चलिए आगे चलिए ओके सर थैंक यू माय चेयरमैन एंड को डायरेक्टर्स एंड सेक्रेटरियल डिपार्टमेंट जो संभालता ना सर हमारा संदीप पोदार जी वेरी नोन पर्सन एंड हैदराबाद से सर आई एम रमेश शंकर गोल्ला शेयर होल्डर एंड अकाउंट होल्डर आल्सो सर सर ये आने वाला दो साल में जो हमारा नया नया कुछ ट्रांसैक्शंस कुछ भी होने दो उसका एक आ, क्या सोच रहे वो बैंक के बारे में वो एक बोल दीजिए और सर आई एम द अकाउंट होल्डर सर बट आई एम मेंटेनिंग टेन थाउजेंड सर व्हाई यू आर नॉट ये निकाल देना सर जीरो कर दीजिए फॉर शेयर होल्डर सर दट सर वैसा करे तो जो हमारा शेयर होल्डर्स किधर रहता वो पूरा आ, हमारा बैंक में जो ज्यादा सा अकाउंट ओपन होता जीरो कर दिए तो आ, वैसी वो जीरो अकाउंट कर देने के बाद क्या होता सर उनके पास दूसरे दूसरे बैंकों में किधर रहते तो हमारा बैंक के अंदर ही डाल देता जो डिपॉजिट करते करे तो क्या होता सर हमारा हमारे को अच्छा सा कासा बढ़ जाता सर दैट्स वाई उधर से अकाउंट खोले तो क्या होता सर जो नेफ्ट रहने दो आर टी जी एस रहने दो डी डी रहने दो ट्रांसेक्शन अच्छा रहता सर दैट्स वाई आई एम सेइंग सर दैट टू और एक सर ये जो हम जो डिपॉजिट करे तो फिक्स डिपॉजिट उसमें शेयर होल्डर्स के लिए प्लस वन परसेंट ज्यादा दे दीजिए वैसा भी आपको डिपॉजिट्स भी बढ़ता सर एट प्रेजेंट हाउ मेनी ब्रांचेस इन इंडिया प्लीज टेल मी एंड हाउ मेनी एम्प्लॉज वर्किंग इन ऑल सर एंड टेम्पररी बेसिस कितना आदमी कर रहे हैं और परमानेंट uh, बेसिस में कितना आदमी कर रहे हैं उसमें से वुमेन एम्प्लॉज कितना लोग है मेंस uh, कितना लोग है वो भी बता दीजिए सर सर आई वांट टू हमारा जो कॉर्पोरेट ऑफिस एंड रजिस्टर्ड ऑफिस देखना सर प्लीज uh, uh, आप uh, मेरे को परमिशन uh, दिए तो uh, मेरे को आके देखना देखते आपको भी मिलते uh, हम भी बहुत खुशी रहता सर 
जो ये बैंक से अच्छा सा खुशी है सर मेरे को मेरे को भी अकाउंट है सर इन हैदराबाद खैराबाद ब्रांच से बट ये तो ये जीरो अकाउंट कर दिए तो बहुत अच्छा रहता इट इज आई एम स्ट्रांगली आस्किंग यू सर चेयरमैन गारू सर मैं ऑलरेडी पूरा फेवर कर दिया सर थैंक यू सो मच एंड जो सेक्रेटेरियल डिपार्टमेंट के बारे में बोलना है तो सर जो हमारा संदीप पोदर किधर रहते तो उधर खुशी फाइल था सर बहुत अच्छा रहते जो आ, सभी लोगों को अच्छा देख लेते सर सर आई वॉन्ट टू प्लीज ग्रीट टू यू सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग ए वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी यू मी सर चेयरमैन गारू एंड माई को डायरेक्टर्स थैंक यू सो मच हैव ए गुड डे गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल सर थैंक यू thank you we will now invite our next speaker member mr rajendra prasad devi prasad joshi mr rajendra prasad request you to please uh, accept the prompt on your screen unmute your audio and video and ask your question so could you please unmute your microphone uh, hello yes am i audible madam yes, yes you are please go ahead okay okay I'll, i will put on the video also please huh? wait one minute sure sir uh, yes, yes thank you thank you got uh, <clears throat> start my video one minute ha huh, right hello uh, good morning sir uh, chairman sir rakesh makhe makija ji and our md ceo amitabh uh, choudhary ji our company secretary sri sandeep podar sir sir myself rajendra prasad joshi shareholder speaking from mumbai at my residence sir at the outset really i am thankful to see sandeep podar sir for sending me the email well on time and sending the soft copy of the annual report but sir i have requested for the physical copy two times so far i have not received sir uh, being a senior citizen i find it very difficult to read uh, uh, soft copies in details and so i always insist for the physical copy so kindly i request uh, uh, sandeep ji that every year please go on sending me physical copy of the annual report so I, this is my request sir so please note down that thing hmm? uh, secondly sir you definitely you are giving a good services to the shareholders so we have nothing to uh, complain about it so one thing i will like to say is about our bank this sir is uh, it is now it has become a one of the top rank bank due from the financial performance as well as customer services or customers i am also a uh, account share account holder of the bank and i find that our services are really satisfactory and with this sir i will also like to say uh, appreciate our performance in for over the five years our financial performance has uh, improved a lot and uh, our asset quality also has improved a lot but i have just uh, two three questions to ask you sir sir what steps are being taken to improve the kasha ratio and also to improve net interest income margin second thing is what what is the status of the bad loans outstanding at present and what precautions or the mechanism followed to avoid bad loans at present these are two three questions please can you answer it i will be very much thankful to you with this i am very much thankful to you for giving me this opportunity to speak from the pratham and also i support all the reservation thank you very much sir thank you thank sir. you thank you thank you very much before we take a next question we'd like to remind participants to please limit your questions to 3 minutes per participant we'll take a next question from speaker number 7 elija devi we've unmuted your audio please go ahead and ask your question yeah very good morning sir i am bharat raj joint account holder elija devi is my mother uh, on, on behalf of her i am uh, i am also shareholder i am 
talking sir first of all entire board of director sir wonderful performance uh, thanks for your dividend uh, sir axis bank uh, is a bank we do not compare with any other bank sir it is having a uh, family oriented and uh, uh, ethical bank sir uh, if you compare with other banks it is not aggressive but they are always accessible and they are very serious in the personal banking sir i am happy chairman sir under leadership my banking is growing wonderfully and uh, the way you taken take overing the uh, uh, city bank uh, other banks of uh, uh, our uh, other services i'm very happy sir thank you sir and uh, under your leadership you will we'll see more more higher hat sir uh, sir i thank my company secretary mr podar uh, sandeep podar uh, because he is well friend of mine uh, in red labs he has done wonderful services he has given sir i hope in this uh, bank also He is uh, given wonderful service. Actually, yesterday I was walking into our uh, Mumbai branch. Sir, yesterday I was in Mumbai. I walk in. I want to meet Mr. Sandeep, but uh, uh, he met me friendly and uh, with him with uh, Mr. Mahesh also, sir. Uh, senior manager also is a compliment, and he 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 is with me and he share all the uh, friendly friendly and he share everything, sir. This is what the bank of uh, Axis, sir. They are always friendly nature, sir. Uh, Mr. Mahesh Chonan accompany with uh, Mr. Sandeep and. Uh, Uh, wonderfully they share all the, what are the ideas and everything sir thank you sir uh, once again sir all the best for the coming coming years there is no questions sir uh, we trust your leadership sir uh, entire team i pr- i'm very proud sir my best wishes to you sir thank you very much god bless you all thank you thank you we'll now invite our next speaker member jitendra c sangvi request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question hello everyone uh, thank you for inviting me and thank you for giving me an opportunity for uh, this q and a session i will directly come to a few questions uh, and i would like to have a, a, a fruitful answer for this questions first and foremost question is upi uh, upi that we are having in excess how much cost we are having and uh, if, what is the gross and what is net how much we are getting a subsidy from rbi and what exact cost we are incurring and what we are trying to do with a finance manager a finance minister whether we will be able to get any uh, more subsidy from them or it is net net cost for us that is my first question second question is diversity what kind of diversity we have in excess bank i can see only two directors are women directors do are we planning to have any more directors i am not asking only from director point of view even from employee point of view how many how many percentage we are looking for and by when we will be able to achieve okay because i can see in excess bank i have not seen much change in last 3 4 years in women employees increment so what is your strategy to increase third and important question is sustainability and ecg what are we planning to do i understand that we have done everything online and everything is done but still there are many many things we achieve, we are lacking and what are we planning to do by 2023 and whether we will be able to achieve those or uh, it is just a statement that we are trying to make as of now fourth and important question is sint city personal banking that we have bought what are the what are the valuation that we have uh, thought for it and whether we will be able to achieve what is the target and by when uh, we will be able to achieve uh, a net irr okay so fifth question is corporate banking i just wanted to know uh, how much percentage uh, uh, we are covered with uh, adani how much percentage of loan we had given to adani out of total loan okay and uh, that is a really really very important because adani is uh, crashing like anything in few it has gone up like anything and it has come down like anything okay and, and we don't know how what will be the future of adani so i would like to know what will be the percentage Uh, we are given we have given as a part of loan to adani and sixth and important thing why we are not having young talent in our uh, leadership okay uh, i i am not able to see any of you guys are less than 50 okay so, so why we are not giving an opportunity to young talent i i know rakesh ji you are laughing but you just understand now new talent new generation is very dynamic at least we should have i'm not saying yeah. take it them to a directorship but at least give them a chance to give more opportunity there are lots of iit iim people which are coming out why are we not giving opportunity to them in leadership i know they should have some experiences 
but with the experienced people at least 40s 50s at least try to give them some uh, chance that's it from my side i, I was and laughing because, because we have a huge amount of young talent sorry sorry sir we have a huge amount of young talent that's so I was laughing I, you don't see them on the six seven people you are seeing here there are lots of them at very high position but please carry on let me not interrupt you sorry sorry no the, that's it this is my last question but yeah i would like to see someone in uh, at least cs cfo at least from those side at least you can you can give them a chance <laughs> so yeah think about it i'm not uh, pressurizing anything but yeah i would like to see some dynamic in uh, axis because uh, you also understand that with a with a old age i'm not saying you have good amount of experience but with a dynamic and with the technology i think there should be some new talent or a uh, young talent should come up that is my request nothing else thank you thank you sir thanks a lot thank for listening to me thank you thank you very much we now invite our speaker number 9 that's uh, rajesh devan mr devan request you to please accept the prompt on your screen unmute your audio and video and ask your question Mr. Devan, now we have sent you a prompt to unmute your audio and video as well. Please go ahead and ask your question. Good morning, gentlemen, and thanks for inviting me, a panelist, to the meeting. I just have only one question with me. So, despite all these uh, incremental growth in the bank. Uh, the company has not yet issued any bonus share, despite having huge reserve and surplus with it. That is my main question. And secondly, the shares of this uh, bank is not uh, proving uh, is not uh, moving in tandem with the other private sector banks. Whether it is ICS Bank, whether it is HCB Bank, whether it is New Generation Investment Bank, it's not uh, increasing in tandem with them. And thirdly, I am also a shareholder of Jammu Branch since its inception in Jammu. I am having a phone number three to nine with the bank, despite having a huge amount of deposit with the bank, which I don't want to disclose here. You can verify it from the branch. I am having huge deposits with the bank. Despite after so many years, I was uh, my account was uh, converted to Burgundy account. Um, secondly, I am also having account in the name of wife with the uh, with the same not same but alternate sequences. Despite that, she has not been his uh, account has not been upgraded to Burgundy account. And Similarly, I have not, though I, my account was uh, Bergen, uh, converted to Burgundy, but I, I was not issued Burgundy checkbook. And my wife account was converted to Burgundy, but it was the credit debit card is not being upgraded to a Burgundy card. It said it is uh, online, it said it is not eligible for upgrading. Though she is also having um, uh, good balance and deposit with the bank. Please look look at it, it, and uh, but otherwise I am satisfied with the, with the branch. But I'll, for, for this few hiccups, I am not able to continue with the bank. I think I should not continue with the bank. This is my information, and for that you have to take care and uh, ask the concerns to do the need. And for that, it, I am I am not taking your much time. So it's thanks to all the members, worthy members of the board and chairman, Mr. Mahija. That is so nice of you. Thank you. And Thank you. Time. We look into this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Speaker number 10, Navy Capital Management, had registered, however, has not joined the meeting. Speaker number 11, Kishori Suresh Bhave, had registered, however, has not connected to the meeting. Speaker number 12 uh, is Pratamesh Vikas Thakwe. We've given you permission to speak. Uh, Ms. Thakwe, you can just go ahead and ask your question.
हेलो हेलो कैन यू यू मी थैंक वेरी मच मैम आई एम वसुधा विकास डाकवे टॉकिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माय सन मिस्टर प्रथमेश विकास डाकवे आई हैव फेसिंग a lot of problems in transferring my physical shares into dmat secondly i am also facing the problem in my unclaimed dividend lots of mails i have sent to our rta but there is not a positive response from them please look into this matter and solve my problems as soon as possible secondly i would like to ask how many new new branches you are going to open in the rural areas with this i support all the resolution thank you very much and wish the company all the best for coming financial years and i also request please give me the appointment of our company secretary to solve me these problems thank you very much sir thank you <clears throat> thank you I now invite our speaker number thirteen. It is Mr. S. K. Lemier. Mr. Lemier requests you to please accept the prompt on your screen. You will be able to unmute your audio and video. You can ask your question. Mr. S. K. Lemier, could you please unmute your audio and video and ask your question? Yeah. Hello. we can hear you mr lemai go ahead oh, thank you sir uh, a very good morning to our respected chairman md the board members and all participants i am sanat kumar lemai sir at the outset i want to congratulate mr choudhury and his entire team for the excellent results our share price has zoomed by 34% since last agm paying for citibank acquisition from pl and p and l account and not from reserves was a very wise decision with increase in business the results for next year would be robust and hopefully dividend would be rupees 10 per share i am a shareholder since ipo in 1998 and have more than 10000 shares on date i also have savings demat trading account all with our bank i am a burgundy customer sir i want to know whether the bank has any provision to compensate its customers if they incur financial loss for errors or mistakes committed in bank's functioning it is gross injustice to them if they lose money because someone in the bank did not do his job properly or some system failed it may be a minuscule amount for the bank but it is considerable for a small investor the bank earns 68% of fee income which was 16500 crores last time uh, from retail segment it should protect their interest too sir to elaborate i have suffered a loss of 16000 rupees because shares offered by me and blocked by the bank in a buyback offer were not transferred to rti or managers in time even the government has an investor protection fund to safeguard interest of small investors our bank should also have some in house arrangement so that customers are not penalized for no fault of theirs so please formulate some customer friendly policy on this so next one uh, question i have uh, we do we have any plans to uh, hive off our subsidiary that is one question sir one one suggestion i have is that we should aggressively go for home loans which is a very lucrative sector growing sector and the risks are also less and finally sir just one thing uh, i wanted to change some 2000 rupees notes in my bank uh, branch they gave me a big form they asked me whether i am a uh, hold account holder or not i said i am burgundy then they said only 10 notes can be changed at a time then i just came out and went to a public sector bank where also i have a account they also told me that 2000 but then i said it is if i stand in the queue and then again i come in the queue you again change it and those are no forms no questions they changed my 20 notes 21 notes so thank you very much and have a good day sir thank you mr lavai thank you we now invite our next speaker member mrs subrata datta 
request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question mr datta could you please go ahead with your question your audio is unmuted can you see me yes okay. we can good morning chairman and board of directors uh, i have great uh, i can't see you we can see you and hear you okay, yes sir okay. please go ahead with your question okay okay no problem i have a very uh, serious uh, issues to uh, to submit to this uh, agm uh, i am facing as a customer of burgundy customer of this bank as a, as also as a shareholder first my issue number 1 is i have a joint account with my daughter in as a burgundy account holder and she used she is abroad now and she used her debit card for withdrawing money from abroad in she is there since 20, uh, 2022 and still she is outside india but uh, during entire year she withdraw her money from the debit card uh, by the debit card and uh, it was okay but uh, uh, but on july 23 2023 this year i uh, she was presented with an outstanding tcs demand of 134000 my question is that how a tcs can be outstanding tcs need to be collected at the time of transaction if there is any deficit amount the transaction will should not go but uh, here they allow all the transactions and after the close of the financial year of 22 23 now in 23 24 if financial year they are placing a demand of 134000 as outstanding tcs where from she will pay she is having her account and it is it is apparent that it is the fault of either the software or your person for not Uh, debiting the tcs so why should she uh, why should she be penalized how can she pay the outstanding tcs where from she should get paid one question and uh, i i contacted by local branch submitted a written complaint i contacted the regional manager with a written complaint but no reply has been received uh, by me uh, and uh, uh, and this is the position of a burgund account holder with his daughter outside india facing extreme difficulties in maintaining her daily expenses because her account has been placed uh, has been blocked and placed on a negative balance so in, i even if i want i cannot support her financial financial so, uh, so this is the position of a customer and as a <coughs> shareholder having a burgund account with your bank and i you think you it is a very essential and urgent matter to look into one thing and next my suggestion is about your age reward point this is a very funny thing they offer two options one is for items to be selected for purchase and another is discount coupons but i have ordered some items they have debited from my reward uh, age rewards point but they, the items never reached me i think it is a fraud is being perpetrated at that point and my third suggestion would be why my bank do not accept cash deposit to convert into demand draft the state bank accept it to issue demand draft and my uh, axis bank do not accept it and i think by this way they are losing a huge amount of money through the service charge and all these things i think you should look into these three matters and again i emphasize please look into my first point where i am facing problem as a burgund uh, customer and my daughter is in a very difficult state abroad due to blockage of her account and placing it on a negative balance for fault of your bank or your software or your person she should not cannot be penalized thank you sir i won't take we'll, any more we will look into this Thank you very much. I now invite our next speaker member, 
Speaker number 15, Tejas Shah. Request you to please accept the prompt on your screen, unmute your audio and video, and ask your question. Mr. Shah, could you please uh, unmute your audio and video? Hello? Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. You are. Please go ahead. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mani Chairman, sir, or Board Ke Sabi Sadesya Gan, or Khas Hamare Shareholders Ke Pratiniti, Manoj Kohli Ji, PN Prasad Ji, Mallik Arjun Ji, or Giris Paranjapi. Sir, annual report ki theme. Open to win together है पर मुझे लगता है कि open to win ही है together word सही मायनों में missing है सर क्योंकि आप सभी इन्वेस्टर को साथ लेके नहीं चलना चाहते सर सर आपने speaker registration के लिए सिर्फ दो दिन वो भी fix date पर ही क्यों रखा है सर दूसरी कंपनी में मीटिंग के पहले कोई भी दिन आप ईमेल कर सकते हो और हमारे वहां फिक्स दो दिन ही रजिस्ट्रेशन के लिए रखा है अगर कोई चूक गया तो उसे आप बोलने का मौका नहीं देता है जो मुझे लास्ट दो ईयर से अनुभव हो चुका है तो ऐसा क्यों सर क्या हम नहीं चाहते हैं कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा इन्वेस्टर्स एजीएम अटेंड करें और अकाउंट्स पे अपना ओपिनियन दे सर अगर कोई शेयर होल्डर कुछ भी कहेगा तो वो कंपनी के अच्छे फ्यूचर के लिए ही कहेगा सर सर इसीलिए मुझे लगता है कि ओपन टू विन टूगेदर में टूगेदर वर्ड मिसिंग है सर लास्ट एजीएम में मैंने इसके बारे में अभिजीत जी सर को कहा था और सभी इंडिपेंडेंट जी सर जो को भी कहा था लेकिन उसमें कोई चेंज नहीं आया सर मुझे खास शिकायत सभी इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर से ही है कि मैंने लास्ट एजीएम में कहा था फिर भी क्यों आपने इस साल भी मैनेजमेंट को इसके लिए परमिशन दी क्या आप सही मायने में इंडिपेंडेंट हो सर क्या आपको खाली अपनी सिटिंग फीस से ही मतलब है क्या आप बोर्ड मीटिंग में चाय नाश्ता करने के लिए ही जाते हो सर क्या आपको इन्वेस्टर के हित में काम करना नहीं चाह नहीं चाहते आप क्या मैनेजमेंट आपकी नहीं सुनता है और इसीलिए क्या एस विश्वनाथ जी और और वसंता गोविंदा जी ने रेजिग्नेशन दे दिया है मेरी आप सभी इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर से अपील है कि आगे से ऐसा ना हो इसकी जिम्मेदारी आपकी है और पिछले और सर मुझे एक डिटेल चाहिए कि पिछले तीन साल में जब से ऑडियो विजुअल मीटिंग चालू हुई है तब से कितने शेयर होल्डर्स ने या इन्वेस्टर ने ई के जरिए रजिस्ट्रेशन का रिक्वेस्ट भेजा है उसकी एक मुझे राइटिंग में डिटेल्स सर चाहिए दूसरा सर एनुअल रिपोर्ट और सब्सिडरीज बैलेंस शीट की हार्ड कॉपी के लिए मैंने सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट को ईमेल किया था और उन्होंने तुरंत भिजवा दिया था उसके लिए मैं उनका आभारी हूँ लेकिन जो सब्सिडरीज बैलेंस शीट मुझे मिली है उसमें कोई सब्सिडरीज मिल बिल्कुल छोटे अक्सर हो जो बिना चश्मो चश्मे नहीं पढ़ सकता कोई भी इंसान कोई सब्सिडरीज में प्रॉपर प्रिंटिंग नहीं है कुछ पढ़ नहीं सकते बिल्कुल भी कोई कोई सब्सिडरीज में बीच में एक आध दो ब्लैंक पेपर हैं, तो कोई सब्सिडरीज में पेपर उल्टे सीधे लगे हुए हैं सर तो सर ऐसा क्यों सेक्रेटरी डिपार्टमेंट को चेक करके भेजना चाहिए ना सर सर मेरी दो तीन क्वेरीज है आ, उसमें पहला है अपनी एक सब्सिडरीज कंपनी है एक्सिस म्यूचुअल फंड ट्रस्टीज जिसमें अपनी रेवेन्यू अप्रोक्स एक करोड़ जैसी है और उसमें आपने सिटिंग फी एटी थ्री लैक्स दिया है सर जो लास्ट ईयर थर्टी टू लैक्स थी इस साल आपने रेवेन्यू के एटी टू एटी फाइव परसेंट सिटिंग फीस दिया है सर सर इतना सारा देने की क्या जरूरत है सर इसके पीछे का लॉजिक कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है सर इसको आप जरा समझाइए मुझे दूसरा सर वही सब्सिडरीज में एक्सिस म्यूचुअल फंड ट्रस्टीज में ही पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर में नोट नंबर टेन ट्रेड रिसीवेबल 
में आपने जो डिटेल्स दिया है वो 2023 2022 तेईस की जगह 2023 चॉइस की दी है सर तो दो चॉइस तो अभी तक आया नहीं है तो सर हम क्यों इतना आगे चले गए हैं सर तीसरा सर अपनी एक दूसरी सब्सिडरीज है एक्सिस कैपिटल उसमें नोट नंबर थर्टी अदर एक्सपेंसेस में प्रिंटिंग एंड स्टेशनरी में लास्ट ईयर जो दो लाख था खाली जो ये साल बढ़ के दो सौ नब्बे लाख यानी डेढ़ सौ गुना बढ़ गया अंदाज से तो इतना सारा क्या बढ़ क्यों बढ़ गया सर इसकी डिटेल और बाइफरकेशन मुझे राइटिंग में भेज देना सर दूसरा एक्सिस फाइनेंस उसमें नॉट नंबर टेन प्रॉपर्टी प्लांट एंड इक्विपमेंट में व्हीकल्स में 240 सौ चालीस लैक्स की व्हीकल्स लिया है सर तो ये कौन कौन के कौन कौन से व्हीकल्स लिए हैं कौन कौन सी गाड़ी है लिया है क्या इनमें कोई डिरेक्टर्स की गाड़ी है और अपनी कंपनी सर फाइनेंस की है तो इसमें इतने सारे व्हीकल्स की क्या जरूरत पड़ गई सर उसका मुझे जरा एलोबरेट करना दूसरा सर एक्सिस फाइनेंस में रिलेटेड पार्टी ट्रांजेक्शन में लोन टू के एम पी है एक सौ उन्नीस लैख तो सर ये किसको दिया है और क्यों दिया है और उसका रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट क्या है वो उसकी डिटेल दीजिएगा सर और लास्ट में एक लास्ट में एक पेमेंट टेक्निक एक्सिस Sorry to interrupt, um, Mr. Tejan. Sir, request to please uh, finish the question faster. There are other participants waiting for their turn, sir. Madam, we have listened to the chairman sir for half an hour. So, you can give me three or five minutes, madam. Thank you. Okay. Sir, sir, free charge of the technology is there. Which we have given doubtful uh, law, uh, deposits. Sir, which we have given doubtful law, uh, deposits. Sir, which we have given doubtful law, uh, deposits. Sir, which we have given doubtful law, uh, deposits. Sir, which we have given doubtful law, uh, deposits. Sir, which we have given doubtful law, uh, deposits. और लास्ट में सर अभिजीत जी सर आपसे मुझे जानना है कि मैं अक्सर न्यूज़पेपर में अपनी बैंक का नाम पढ़ता हूं कि आरबीआई ने नॉन कंप्लायंस के कारण और फेलियर ऑफ कंप्लायंस के कारण कभी तीस लाख की पेनल्टी लगाई कभी नाइन्टी थ्री लैक्स की पेनल्टी लगाई कभी फाइव करोड़ की पेनल्टी लगाई और दूसरा अपनी कंपनी के साथ तीस करोड़ का फ्रॉड हुआ कभी एक 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 ऐसा भी आया था कि एक वन थाउजेंड थर्टी करोड़ का फ्रॉड हुआ था तो सर ऐसा क्या चलता ही रहेगा क्या ऐस, और ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है अपनी बैंक के साथ ये अपनी बैंक और सभी इन्वेस्टर के लिए अच्छी बात नहीं है थैंक यू वेरी मच सर थैंक यू थैंक यू Our next speaker member, number sixteen, Radhe Sham Prasad, had registered, however, has not joined. We will therefore move to our next speaker member, number seventeen, Mr. Santosh Kumar Saraf. Mr. Saraf, could you please unmute your audio and video and ask your question? Hello. माननीय अध्यक्ष जी उपस्थित निर्देश में सदस्यगण अधिकारीगण और मेरे शेयर और भाई बहनों जो आज वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस प्रेजेंट है मैं संतोष कुमार साहब कड़ता से आप सभी को नमस्कार करता हूं सर नमस्कार जी आशा करता हूं आप जितने भी डायरेक्टर हैं जितने भी अधिकारीगण है और जो भी आज प्रेजेंट है अच्छे स्वास्थ्य में होंगे सर मैं मैनेजमेंट को धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर काफी मेहनत के करके इसको बढ़ाया आज से क्या हजार रुपया शेयर का दाम होने जा रहा है किसी जमाने में अट्ठाईस और दस रुपया हुआ करता था सर ये मेहनत का फल है मैनेजमेंट का जो आगे बढ़ा और सर आपने एक रुपया डिविडेंड दिया उसके लिए भी धन्यवाद दूंगा सर बहुत मेरे आगे बहुत लोगों ने बहुत प्रश्न भी किए सर तो बहुत लो, बहुत लोगों ने कंप्लेन भी की सर तो शायद ये मैं समझता हूँ ये वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग अकाउंट के लिए इसमें कोई कंप्लेन का स्थान नहीं होना चाहिए वो बेकार में जो स्पीकर थे लोग उनका समय बर्बाद करते हैं सर कोई बात नहीं जैसा जिनकी हैबिट होती है सर मैं एक ही प्रश्न करूंगा सर आर्टिफिशियल जो अपने फ्रॉड हो रहे हैं इसके लिए आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट का की क्या व्यवस्था कर रहे हैं आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंट का अभी जमाना है सर तो इसको यूज में ला के जैसे इनकम टैक्स में गवर्नमेंट में यूज में ला रही है और ला के एक लाख इनकम टैक्स पेड़ को अभी नोटिस भेजा है तो आप भी सर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का क्या यूज कर रहे हैं और आपकी जो इसके टेक्निकल वाले हैं उनसे एडवाइस लेके मैं चाहूंगा इसका यूज करें 
और ज्यादा मैं समय नहीं करूंगा सर ये बीसी मीटिंग काफी अच्छी होती है और मैं कहूंगा कंटिन्यूस बीसी मीटिंग में रखिए जिसे बाहर वाले शेयर होल्डर जो है आपकी सिटी के बाहर वाले वो हम अटेंड कर सके हमारे जो डायरेक्टर है जो निप आ सके वो भी अपनी जगह से अटेंड कर सके एक बार फिर आप जितने भी डायरेक्टर अधिकारी और जितने भी कर्मचारी है उनको अच्छे रिजल्ट के लिए आभार प्रकट करता हूँ और भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ भगवान दो हजार तेईस चौबीस आप सभी के लिए हेल्दी वेल्दी और प्रोस्पेक्ट के साथ रहती हूँ इंक्लूडिंग अपनी फैमिली के लिए भी प्रार्थना करता हूँ उनके साथ में भी स्वस्थ और अच्छे से रहे नमस्कार जी नमस्कार जी थैंक यू वेरी मच वील Our next speaker member, number eighteen, Mr. Tapan Sumanal Shah, had registered, however, has not connected. Therefore, we'll move to our speaker number nineteen, that's uh, Bijan Mondal. Request you to please accept the prompt on your screen, unmute your audio and video, and ask your question. Mr. Bijan Mondal. Request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question. So it looks like your microphone is still muted. Can you please unmute? Yes, and ask your question, sir. Sir, am I audible? Yes. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, I am a shareholder of the company, and uh, I am also uh, uh, I have to that fixed deposit and savings account in. Thanks. I got to in mutual fund. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Mondal. Can you just hold the microphone a little closer to you and speak? We can't hear you that clearly. Thank you, Mr. I mute uh, mute it already. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, uh, the thing is that uh, I have uh, recently gone through your uh, financial uh, and I found that uh, the, there is a vast improvement in your uh, financial uh, performance in the last financial year, and particularly in the uh, Ongoing financial year in the first quarter, uh, you have earned seventy-five rupees per share at EPS on annualized basis. It is really impressive. Uh, but uh, sir, the, the dividend you have paid is only one rupee per share. I would uh, ask you to uh, redo the dividend distribution policy. And secondly, you can, uh, I mean, uh, okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from speaker number twenty, Meena Agarwal. Request you to please unmute your audio and ask your question. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. Respected Chairman, Mr. Rakesh Makhija, uh, MD and CEO Amitabh Chaudhary, a CFO Puneet Sharma, and a CEO Sandeep Kodar. Sir, so there were 18 resolutions to be voted for, which I voted. Sir, so, yeah. Sir, so, one second, sir. The, the performance of the bank has been very good. The PAT was about 23,172 crores before the exceptional item of 12,000 crores plus due to the acquisition of uh, City Bank's India operations, sir. Had that not been there, our EPS would have been 71 rupees instead of the 31 rupees. So the, the only agreement that I can have is that uh, growth will always be there in the bank. And the bank will always need funds for growth, sir. You have done an EPS even after the exceptional items of uh, rupees thirty-one, and you have given a dividend of rupees only one, so, sir, which is less than about uh, uh, about one percent, uh, less than one percent of point uh, three percent of uh, the EPS, sir. So uh, do consider uh, of a better payout ratio. This thing is very low. We dividend we invest to get returns from the bank, sir. But if you are going to give one rupee out of thirty-one rupees. It is very low, uh, sir. And uh, the net worth uh, of the bank has increased to one lakh twenty-four thousand. The uh, this thing is all very good. The my grievance is only on the uh, rupee one dividend that you have declared on earning of thirty-one rupees plus. Sir. It is not uh, sufficient, sir. We do consider better interim dividend or better thing. Even the bonus are due from the bank, which is not there after having such a strong balance sheet of one lakh twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety. Three net worth and a book value of four hundred six on a face value of two rupees, sir. So I wish the company all the best for the future growth. And my grievance you will take into consider. Thank you, sir. We know Agarwal from Mumbai. Thank you, Mr. Agarwal. Thank you. 
we will now move to our next speaker member mr praful chawra speaker number 21 request you to please unmute your audio and video and ask your question hello go ahead mr chawra chairman sir board of directors hyderabad se main praful chawra bol raha hu bahut shirodar ne bahut kuch bol diya to main isse alag thoda bolna chahta hu first first to jo main aapka customer hu aur आपके बैंक एसएमएस चार्ज लगाती है तो आजकल एसएमएस तो फ्री है तो भी बैंक को पूरे क्लाइंटों से एसएमएस चार्ज लगाने से कितना इनकम होता है और इसमें आप लोग कितना खर्चा करते हैं कितना बेनिफिट होता है आपको एसएमएस चार्ज लगाने से वो बताएंगे सीनियर सिटीजनों के लिए क्या सर्विस दे रहे आप बैंक के बैंक के अंदर या बैंक के बाहर भी जो भी आपका सिस्टम के अंदर आता है इंटरेस्ट ज्यादा देना या फिक्स डिपोजिट में जो भी है वो बताएंगे एच यू एफ अकाउंट खोलने के लिए आपके पास कोई सिस्टम नहीं है ऐसा मालूम हो रहा है मैं बैंक में खुद गया था मैं एच यू एफ का अकाउंट खुलाने तो वो लोग बोले हमको पता नहीं है क्या होता क्या नहीं होता है बाद में बोलते हैं शाम को आओ सुबह आओ अभी एक आदमी आता है उसको पता चलता है यानी कि सीनियर सिटीजन को भी बैंक में सर्विस मिलने के बदले फिर आते हैं एटीएम से अभी क्या बेनिफिट मिलता है एटीएम से बेनिफिट बहुत सा खत्म हो गया है जो थोड़े लोग हैं एटीएम यूज करते हैं बाकी लोग तो सब्जी मंडी वाले भी एक रुपया दो रुपया भी पेटीएम से एटीएम से लेते हैं जो लो जो एम्प्लॉयज है आपका लोन पास करते हैं लोन पास करके इसकी जिम्मेदारी रहनी चाहिए लोन रिकवर करने की वो लोग दूसरी जगह पे चले जाते हैं रिकवरी एजेंट आपका जो भी है वो रिकवरी को जन जाते रिकवरी के बाद रिकवरी नहीं होती तो आप कोई मकान है तो इसका ऑप्शन कर देते हैं या कोई टू व्हीलर है फोर व्हीलर का ऑप्शन करते हैं मकान तो ठीक आप उठा नहीं सकते हो परंतु आप बैंक वाले आके कार उठा के लेके जाते हैं टू व्हीलर उठा के लेके जाते हैं वो कोई कचरे कुंडी में डाल देते हैं वहां एक साल दो साल पड़ा रहता है फिर ऑप्शन करते है फिर दो साल का जो रेंट होता है वो भी बैंक खरीदने वाले से वसूल करते क्यों ना इमिडिएटली बैंक वाले कार का ऑप्शन कार जो आदमी लिया उसके घर के ऊपर किया जाए ताकि बस्ती वाले को मालूम पड़ते है कि ये कितना कमीना आदमी है कि बैंक के लोन लेके लोन नहीं भरता है और गाड़ी में फिरता है ताकि ऐसे लोग ओपन होना चाहिए ताकि लोन लेने वाला समझे और लोन भरे आपको ऐसा होना चाहिए सर सर दूसरी बात है अभी हमारे एक साथी शोल्डर ने बोले कंपनी के साथ बहुत फोर्ड हुआ है फोर्ड कैसे हुआ था सर आपके घर के पैसे से एक रुपया का फोर्ड हुआ है क्या आपका घर का एक रुपया गया तो आप रात में नींद नहीं आती और बैंक का फोड हुआ है तो खुशी से आप टाई बाई कोट पेट पहन के आ जाते हैं तो ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए बैंक से ज्यादा ज्यादा इंक्वायरी करे जिसको पैसे दिए है इसको फोड कैसा कर सकते आपके पास सिस्टम नहीं है क्या अगर फोड करके आप छोड़ दे रहे तो मेरे को भी एक दो सौ करोड़ रुपये दे दो और मैं जेल में जाने को तैयार हूँ दस साल की जेल जेल होती है पांच करोड़ रुपये अगर मिलता है तो मैं लेने को तैयार हूँ ऐसा मत करो सर फोर्ड आपकी मिली भगत से होती होंगी नहीं तो फोर्ड नहीं होती है और सर दूसरी बात रखना चाहता हूं कि वन ईयर दूसरा कुछ बात नहीं कहना चाहता हूं जो भी है वो इतना ही बस है परंतु आप एक ही बात बोलना चाहता हूं मैं अभी ट्वेंटी नंबर ट्वेंटी वन नंबर आया तब तक देखा कि आपका भी हेल्थ अच्छा नहीं है तो आपकी अब छुट्टी लेके दूसरे को बिठाना चाहिए था धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू वी विल नाउ इनवाइट आवर नेक्स्ट स्पीकर मेंबर नंबर ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज दिलीप कुमार जैन मिसेज जैन प्लीज एक्सेप्ट द प्रॉम्ट ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू मे अनम्यूट योर ऑडियो एंड वीडियो एंड देन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to please remain connected while Mr. Jain unmutes his audio and video. Hello. So please yes, go Mr. ahead. Jain, uh, yes, Jai uh, Jinendra, uh, 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 Chairman Sir, and uh, Board of Directors, sir, को बहुत-बहुत बधाई आपको इतने बड़े आयोजन देने के लिए और बैंक को लगातार नई ऊंचाइयाँ देने के लिए आपका बहुत बहुत सभी लोगों का बहुत बहुत आभार शुक्रिया 
एक चीज में सर ये कहना चाह रहा था कि सर वैसे तो सारे पैनलिस्ट ने इतना कुछ बोल दिया कि आगे कुछ बोलने की जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन ये बात तो जरूर एक सी जब फ्रॉड्स हो रहे हैं जिसमें आरबीआई को बार बार पेनल्टी बैंक को पेनलाइज करना पड़ता है और ये इस तरह की जो आपके ऑफिस के लेवल पे जो पेनल्टीज लगती हैं आरबीआई से तो वो उस, तो उस तरह के फ्रॉड्स में भी जो हो रहा है ये ये और ये अपने एनपीएच कितने हैं कितने रिकवर हुए इस साल में और पिछली पिछली क्या पोजिशन चल रही है मतलब 2020 से लेके कोविड पीरियड से लेके अब तक में कितने अपने एनपी नए हुए हैं और कितने रिकवर हुए हैं क्योंकि आज सुनने में आ रहा है कि इतने 10 लाख से ऊपर के 10 लाख करोड़ से ऊपर के एनपी रिकवर हुए हैं तो अपने यहाँ उसका अमाउंट क्या है एक सर एक चीज मैं ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि सर आपके जो अभी स्पीकर के लिए जो आपके रजिस्ट्रेशन का था मैटर उसमें दो दिन दिए गए और उसमें भी ये हुआ कि एनएसडीएल की साइड पे एनएसडीएल की साइड देके और छोड़ दिया गया उसको मैंने संदीप जो आपके संदीप जी हैं इनको दो बार फोन करने की कोशिश की लेकिन मेरा फोन नहीं उठा और उसमें केवल एनएसडीएल वाला ही लॉग इन कर सकता है सीडीएसएल वाले को लॉग इन करने के लिए कोई ऑप्शन नहीं था जिसके लिए मैंने एनएसडीएल मिस्टर अनुभव सक्सेना जो है उन्होंने मेरे को तीन बार कहा सॉरी बोले मैं कुछ नहीं कर सकता ये एक सिस्टम में वही से गड़बड़ हुई है उसके बाद आपके यहाँ से कॉल आई है और उसके बाद मेरे को एज ए स्पीकर एड किया है उन्होंने तो इस तरह से सर मेरे जैसे कितने सफर रहे होंगे जो वाकई में बोलना चाहते हैं और मान लो बैंक के इंटरेस्ट में कोई बोलना चाहते हैं तो उसके लिए बैंक को इस तरह से इतने इतना बड़ा फॉल्ट अगर मैनेजमेंट लेवल पे आईटी टीम की तरफ से हो रहा है आपके इसमें सीडीएसएल के मेंबर्स को लॉग इन ही नहीं कर सकते तो सर बहुत बड़ी चीज है इस चीज को ध्यान देने वाली बात है और जो सेकेंडरी सर जो फोन नहीं उठाते हैं उनको बड़ी मिस्टेक मैंने इनका नंबर कलेक्ट किया उसके बाद दो बार फोन किया मेरा फोन पिकअप पिक नहीं हुआ मिस्टर संदीप पोदार जो हैं आपके सेक्रेटरी और सर मतलब इस तरह की जो चीजें होती है ये बैंक की इमेज को डेंट करने के लिए बहुत अच्छी नहीं लगती हैं बहुत इमेज डेंट होती है बाकी आप सभी सभी का बहुत बहुत आभार बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया मुझे इतना बोलने देने के लिए आपको सभी को और जयपुर का भी हो तो जयपुर में एक बार एक चीज और मैं सर एक मिनट लेना चाहूंगा बरकत नगर ब्रांच में सीनियर Uh, Mr. Jain, I I think you have muted your audio, sir. Can you please unmute and speak? We lost your audio. Yes, sir. I was in Barkat Nagar branch. And there, I said that I have a senior citizen FD. So they said that we will arrange it. But I have done it for six months, seven months. After that, I have not received any call from them. Nor have they given me any person to come to the office. They have not given me any person to come to the office. They have not given me any person to come to the office. कलेक्ट कर ली जबकि मैं उनसे कह गया था उन्होंने कहा कि सर हम कल परसों में हमारा जो बंदा आएगा वो आपके पास आके सब चीज कलेक्ट कर लेगा तो सर अगर मान लीजिए ये शेयर होल्डर्स के साथ ऐसी स्थिति है तो जनरल पब्लिक के साथ क्या होता होगा कांट से आई कांट से आप कुछ प्रिज्यूम कर सकते हैं आपको डिसीजन लीजिए इस बारे में और इतनी इतनी जो पब्लिक जो सारे शेयर होल्डर्स इतनी इतनी बातें कह रहे हैं कि ये इस तरह की हो रही है सबके साथ में तो सर इस पर ध्यान दीजिए और पर्टिकुलर अगर कोई शेयर होल्डर बैंक में ब्रांच में कोई जाता है और शेयर कहता है कि एज ए शेयर होल्डर आया है तो उसको कम से कम एडिशनल ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिले एक एक्स्ट्रा ट्रीटमेंट नहीं मिले तो कम से कम इतना तो हो कि वो उसको प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट तो मिले थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सो दैट वाज़ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ओवर टू यू फॉर फर्दर प्रोसीडिंग सो थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चन I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Savitab Chaudhary, our CEO, to respond to specifically the questions that you raised, and we go one by one. Thank you, Savitab. Over to you. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I will try to answer all the questions uh, in Suriyatam. If there is an overlap in the questions, then we'll cover them once, and, and you know, obviously, we'll not repeat it again. Uh, Mr. Bakshi, we're starting with you. Uh, thank you so much for being a you know account holder of the bank and a shareholder. I think you do a lot of business with the bank, so do thank from the uh, on behalf of the management team for doing business with us. Um, your first question was around uh, you know various loans, uh, especially the semi loans. Uh, semi loans increased by 23% year on year in uh, in first you know first quarter of financial year 24. Uh, they account for 11% of total advances. Are Small business banking SME, what we call the CBG side, and mid corporate book grew at a CAGR of 27% in the last three years. Uh, we today have 8.4% market share in the overall industry MSME credit. 
Also, you would note that our small business banking SME and the mid corporate book accounts are close to 20% of the overall advances of the bank. Uh, you asked about data centers, the two data centers in Mumbai and Bangalore. Uh, both data centers are located in different seasonic zones. So they're connected to redundant wide area network, connected to all branches and offices. Uh, we have set up a refresh near DR also for critical applications. Uh, we conduct regular DR drills. These are not one day drills, they are drills which last for many days and we conduct them on a regular basis. And these reports are submitted to the regulator also. We are continuing to evaluate our data center strategy and we might add more data centers as we move along. As far as uh, digital business is concerned, 70% um, uh, of the new savings account acquisition is coming through digital means. 72% of individual retail term deposits are being booked through digital means. 55% of our personal loans are being disbursed to digital means. As the chairman highlighted in the speech, digital bank and digital banking is an important initiative for the bank. And we are pushing ourselves in under in, in the digital domain through what we're calling access, uh, you know, digital true strategy. Our idea there is to create a digital bank where all liabilities and assets are sourced end to end digitally. That business is growing rapidly, and we believe that that could be the future of banking in India. And access will play an important role in it. Uh, you talked about uh, uh, energy initiatives. We have initiatives around green uh, building around daily recycling, around rainwater harvesting, uh, replacement, of, uh, replacement of convention lights, and so on and so forth. Some of these initiatives have been highlighted quite clearly in our annual report. You'll be delighted to know that we are the first bank to actually have a separate ESG committee of the board, and the, com and the board committee is driving a lot of the, the ESG agenda in the bank. Um, you talked about CSR spends in 22-23. This was 201.92 crores. Uh, we have a clear plan for NPA reduction. We have uh, some of the steps that you've taken for minimizing NPAs uh, in future and changes in loan sanctioning process. A lot of you have asked the question. So we firstly continue to review our underwriting policies and processes to ensure origination level checks are duly implemented to onboard good quality borrowers, both on the wholesale and the retail side. Internal rating forms the core of the risk management process for wholesale lending business with internal ratings determining the acceptability of risk, maximum exposure ceiling, sanctioning authority, pricing decisions, and review frequency. Uh, the bank also monitors the performance of borrowers through a mix of internal and external sources, alerts for potential weakening, and frauds, et cetera. And we have a lot of parameters being monitored uh, to ensure that we are on top of the situation at all times. Also, finally, the bank has specialized collections and resolution teams in retail, as well as wholesale banking. These teams engage with digital borrowers or corporates to explore multiple alternatives to resolve and avoid slippages. Uh, you had a question on tech spends. 8.6% of our total spends in financial year 23 uh, was tech spends. It is growing at 24% year on year and was 2,355 crores last year. Marketing spends was 144 crores last year, which is all about building our brand and pushing our agenda on some specific solutions which you're offering to our customers. Uh, so those are the questions asked by Mr. Bakshi, Mr. Sunil Modok. Uh, again, thank you for being a customer of the bank. Sincerely appreciate it. Uh, you talked about, asked the question on trading profit as to why it is negative. Uh, there was increase in interest rates in the market. There is no economic loss because of the change in interest rates and how they move. Uh, we have to revalue the securities on an ongoing basis. Uh, just as an example, uh, the, the you know against a loss last year, our first quarter profit, or for, in the first quarter of this financial year, our trading uh, side of the business has generated a profit. So it is something which goes up and down. Uh, you also asked a question on the employee strength. As on 30th June 2023, we have 94,824 employees on rolls of the bank. We have added 8,366 staff in the last one year. Uh, 3,200 employees joined from city. Uh, plus, uh, you know, people have asked a lot of questions on diversity. As of, uh, again, March uh, 2023, we have 25.7% of our employees who are women. This ratio has changed over the last two years by more than two percentage points. So it's an important ESG agenda of the bank, and we are pushing ourselves, and there is a clear plan outlined to the board, which is being monitored quite closely as to how we continue to push our diversity ratio as an institution. We have signed up for a target of 30% by 2027. Uh, we have, uh, on a temporary side, 200 plus freelancers who work for the bank, 
and there are 3,500 plus what we call gig a employees, which is employees who work offline for a limited period of time on a daily basis with the bank. Uh, you asked about number of branches in India. We have today 4,910 branches and 15,953 ATMs. Uh, Mr. Gola, again, thanks for being an account holder. Uh, we insist on a minimum balance because a lot of free services are provided. Uh, we have tried the zero balance strategy in the past, not very successfully. Uh, you ask questions, I think they have already been answered. Uh, Mr. Rajan Prasad Joshi, you had, uh, again, thanks. thank you so much for being an account holder. Uh, you talked about the physical copy of the annual report not being received. We'll ensure that it gets to you as quickly as possible. Uh, we, uh, you requested for this report as for our data on 27th of July at 7.35 p.m. Um, we will send it today. Uh, number of branches we propose to open in 23-24 is 500. We expect to close that activity by somewhere in January, February uh, of this financial year. There is a clear plan in place. Branches are the locations that we identified. The work is on in many of those branches. And as and when the work gets completed, we'll open the branches. But the plan is to open 25, uh, sorry, uh, 500 branches uh, in this financial year. We opened 186 branches last year. Uh, and as required by RBI, 25% of those branches will be in the rural area. As far as CASA ratio improvements are concerned, uh, our deposit franchise continues to grow faster than industry with improvement in both quality and composition. We are very focused on granular retail deposits. We have grain incremental market share of 6.3% in the last one year. Our focus also is on productivity and micro market strategy premiumization, and we are obviously coming up with curated product propositions so that we can attract very specific uh, customer segments uh, through the process. Uh, well, he's, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Anija Devi, though you had, I think you have some of speaking, you're, well, you have no uh, questions. I do want to thank you for being an account holder uh, and sincerely appreciate uh, you using our services. Mr. Sangvi, you talked to us about and asked us a question on ESG and CSR initiatives. Um, as far as CSR activities are concerned, the what we have is a flagship livelihoods program managed by Access Bank Foundation, which has reached close to 1.3 million households as of March 2023. The bank has also, as the chairman highlighted, entered into a partnership with Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, to establish the Access Bank Center for uh, Mathematics and Computing at the campus. Under Access Dilse, the bank's, the bank's flagship program in education, the bank has expanded its partnership with the Indian Army and Assam Rifles to establish centers of excellence in the Northeast. The bank is supporting the CM Rice program, focusing on the professional development of over one lakh government primary teachers covering the entire state of MP. We also have a flagship program under the theme of environment. Our mission is two million trees, wherein it has committed to you know, uh, planting these trees by 2027. Um, as far as exposure to Adani Brook, Brook is, you know, Group is concerned, uh, let me assure you, we extend credit basis, comfort on cash flow, security, and repayment capability of the obligors as per bank's credit assessment framework. We remain comfortable with our exposure to Adani Group. This is the same. We had released, a, we had sent a notice to the stock exchange around our exposure, uh, I think approximately six months back. Right now, it constitutes, the overall exposure constitutes less than 1% of the net advances of the bank. So we believe that we are in a comfortable situation. Uh, a question was on city uh, benefits from the city acquisition. Um, we believe this acquisition positions Access Bank very strongly for accelerated premium market share growth. Uh, and this is in line with Access Bank's growth ambitions. This has given us an access to large pool of affluent customers and a franchise of more than 9 lakh customers. Uh, Customers, our CASA ratio has improved by 150 basis points. It has consolidated our position in the card business with addition of 1.8 million cards. We have already and 43% growth in card advances. We have already identified more than 60 plus initiatives across revenue and cost, cost aspects, <clears throat> and the work is already going on. It will, this acquisition will become ROE active from financial year 25 onwards. Let me assure you, we are encouraging young talent and a lot of young talent. Um, uh, Subrat Mohanty, who's just been appointed as the executive director of the bank, is, his age is 46. Since you asked a specific question about our CFO, I'm delighted to tell you his age is 48, which is below 50. 
a large number of precedents uh, are, uh, you know, at the age of sub-50. So that is, again, something which we monitor on an ongoing basis in the bank. And we are promoting a lot of young talent. Uh, Mr. Devan, again, thank you so much for being an account holder and doing business with us. Uh, you talked about the bonus issue. Uh, issuance of bonus shares obviously requires consideration of various factors like adherence to capital adequacy requirements, regulatory guidelines, ability of the bank to service increased capital, impact on future profits of level for being retained for planned growth, dilution earnings per share, et cetera, et cetera. We will continue to do what is in the best interest of the bank and the shareholders. And please be assured that when we are in a position to declare bonus shares, we will definitely do so. Um, you also talked about some specific issues with regard to your Burgundy account. I will ensure that someone reaches out to you in the next 24 hours. Um, continuing with the questions, uh, Mrs. Darkway, I think the mother uh, spoke. Uh, uh, Sanjeev uh, will be in touch with you with regard to your issues on the uh, you know, changing from physical to DMAT. Uh, I have already addressed your issue with a number of branches in the uh, rural side. Uh, Mr. Dime, again, thanks for being an account holder and a Burgundy customer. Um, as far as you talked about the buyback offer, there is no such offer given by the bank. Uh, you talked about some, some loss. We will ensure that, again, uh, uh, you know, someone reaches out to you to fully understand what your issue is. Uh, you talked about plans to hive off any subsidiary. We have been quite uh, categorical that uh, we firstly want to push a one access strategy within the bank so that we benefit from the bank and all the subsidies coming together in front of the customers so that we can provide a one-stop shop to our customers and all the, uh, the bank and the subsidies can benefit from it. We will continue to invest and grow our subsidies unless it is required by the regulators to divest some of our shareholding. Uh, let's see as to how this pans out. But right now, at this point in time, there is no work afoot with where which will lead to any dilution of our stake in any of the subsidies. You will actually see us continuing to infuse capital in some of the subsidies if that is required for the growth purposes. Uh, Mr. Subrata Datta, again, thank you so much for being a Burgundy customer. You talked about a serious issue. Um, take your feedback on board. We will have relevant officers come back to you for all the personal issues you've highlighted. Uh, I think as far as the TCS is concerned, uh, in some cases, the deduction of TCS has not happened. Uh, tax collection at source is something which has to come from the, uh, the customer's concern, but we will immediately have a conversation with you and try to close it as quickly as possible. You raised issue around some reward points also, so we will take care of it. Shah Saab, you raised some questions. You said that you had a lot of registration, and some other people have talked about registration. मैं आपने जो सब्सिडी फाइनेंशियल्स के बारे में जो भी क्वेश्चंस उठाए हैं हमें हमें कोशिश करेंगे कि अगले 24 घंटे में आपको जो भी आपने क्वेश्चंस रेज किए उन सब का आपको जवाब मिल जाए आपने एक्सेस म्यूचुअल फंड ट्रस्टीज एक्सेस कैपिटल और फ्री चार्ज को लेके क्वेश्चन उठाए हैं आपने आरबीआई के फ्रॉड्स के बारे में बात की है मैं आपको यह बताना चाहूंगा कि जहां तक फ्रॉड्स का सवाल है जो आरबीआई के फाइन वो फाइन हमें हुए हैं वो मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस में वो फाइन्स जो हैं वो या तो प्रोसेस रिलेटेड इश्यूज पे हैं या करेंसी चेस में उन्होंने कुछ कमियां पाई हैं उनको लेके हैं आपने जिन फ्रॉड्स को रेफर किया है वो एक फ्रॉड जो आपने 31 करोड़ के जिसके बारे में बात की वो फ्रॉड है जो मुझे लगता है जो आप नंबर रेफर कर रहे हैं वो हमारी सब्सिडी में हमारे एक एम्प्लॉई ने फ्रंट रनिंग करके कुछ फ्रॉड किया जिसके बारे में सभी की रिपोर्ट आई है उसमें बैंक ने को और बैंक ने या सब्जी ने कोई लॉस सफर नहीं किया है पर ये फ्रॉड जरूर हुआ है और उस उस फ्रॉड को लेके हमने बहुत सारे कदम उठाए हैं और एक्शन लिए हैं और अगर हमें कहीं भी ऐसी कोई भी सब दिखेगा कि हमारे कहीं भी कभी है हम ये एक्शन लेते रहेंगे ये जो 130 करोड़ Mr. Vishwanathan, jo hai, unka, he finished his regulatory term of eight years. Isle, he had to step off from the board because he could not serve beyond that. And where Mrs. Masanta Govindan ka sawal hai, UTI withdrew the nomination after it ceased to be a promoter of the bank. So, uh, our board member has not resigned. Nahi kiya hai, jahan, uh, Mr. Mandal and uh, Ms. Meena Agrawal have raised the question of why the dividend is related to the bank. The bank has formed a dividend distribution policy. 
and in line with the SEBI requirements of uh, the, the you know to regulations of 2015, these this policy lays down the principles and objectives to be considered, and also the regulatory requirements in relation to the declaration of dividend. Uh, in view of the overall performance of the bank, and while retaining capital to support future growth, the dividend of rupees one has been recommended. Uh, bank ki philosophy very simple hai ki ek taraf hum ye nahi kar sakte ki ek taraf hum market mein jaaye aur capital uthaye aur dusri taraf hum dividend dein. और जो जितना अमाउंट ऑफ डिविडेंड मिलते हैं हम फिर जाके मार्केट में पैसा उठाएं तो जब बैंक अपने आप और उसकी जो प्रॉफिट है अपने उसकी ग्रोथ सपोर्ट कर लेगा हम जरूर एज पर दैट डिविडेंड पॉलिसी ये देखेंगे कि डिविडेंड अमाउंट इंक्रीज हो सकता है कि नहीं हो सकता सराफ साहब आपने फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन की बात की थी और आपने कहा था कि उसे भैया यूज कर सकते हैं नहीं कर सकते मैं आपको ये अश्योर करना चाहता हूँ कि हमारे पास बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग एनालिटिकल डेटा केपेबिलिटीज हैं जो Uh, हम अपने फ्रॉड uh, डिटेक्शन में और uh, बहुत एक्सटेंसिवली यूज करते हैं हम ऑल्सो बहुत जोर से कदम उठा रहे हैं इससे कि हम एक सेंटर ऑफ एक्सेलेंस और ए आई क्रिएट कर सकें हम यूज केसेस देख रहे हैं और उसमें वन ऑफ द एलिमेंट जो हम जरूर देखेंगे कि और हम कैसे सक्षम बन सकें फ्रॉड को पकड़ने में दिलीप uh, जैन साहब आपने एनपीए uh, रिकवरी की बात की थी uh, कि कितना हमने एनपीए है और कितना रिकवरी है तो हमारे एडिशन ऑफ ग्रॉस एनपीए ड्यूरिंग 2023 अमाउंटेड टू 14 करोड़ एज कंपेयर टू 20,110 करोड़ इन 2021-22 कॉप उसमें कॉपरेट 2,306 करोड़ सीवीजी वाज 892 करोड़ एंड रिटेल वाज 11,051 करोड़ नेट स्लिपेजेस ड्यूरिंग 2023 अमाउंटेड टू 3,680 करोड़ एज कंपेयर टू 5,760 करोड़ इन 2021-22 बैंक हैज टेकन स्टेप्स फॉर इंप्रूविंग द क्रेडिट क्वालिटी ऑफ रोल रिजिनेशन बाय फोकसिंग ऑन Sanction of higher proportion of loans and credit facilities to better rated corporates. The bank's gross NPA ratio declined to 2.02 percent as on March 2023 from 2.82 percent as on March 2022, and the net NPA ratio also declined to 0.39 percent as on March 2023 from 0.73 percent as on March 2022. I am delighted to tell you that these numbers are perhaps the best in the banking industry. So please be rest assured that we are firstly watching the. Gross NPA, net NPA, and the slippages very, very closely. Mm-hmm. And over the time, we have uh, been successful in bringing these numbers down to a point where we are, I think, one of the best in the industry. Recoveries in return of accounts was 2,885 crores, which increased by 22% year on year in financial year uh, 2022-23. Uh, uh, Jain Sir, you asked a question that the CDSL shareholders were not able to register. Uh, we did not find any such issue with other shareholders however kyunki aapne issue raise kiya hai hum is matter ko wapas recheck karenge with uh, with nsdl or a kafi quite a few people have raised issue on registration it's a feedback we'll take uh, to heart and we'll ensure that in future some of these issues are brought down we had no intention of somehow trying to restrict uh, the number of shareholders who could register and ask questions that is absolutely not the intention uh, and it is the desire of the board And the management team that every shareholder has a chance to uh, come to these meetings and ask as many questions as they want. Uh, many shareholders have asked a question on you know reduction in profit in 2023 in comparison to uh, you know the fact that uh, we were on a certain run rate. The reduction in reported profits and reported shareholder ratio is mainly on account of full amortization of goodwill and intangibles through PNL from acquisition of Citibank India Consumer Business. The amount which we have amortized. On tang- intangibles and goodwill is eleven thousand nine hundred forty-nine crores. We also harmonize our policies, which caused an impact of two hundred thirty-two crores. And uh, we also uh, the harmonization of policies and operating expense had an impact of one twenty-nine crores. We also incurred a one-time acquisition cost of one seventy-nine crores. Total impact of twelve thousand four hundred eighty-nine crores. Uh, the banks. Uh, someone asked how many. You know, where is the bank's CSR activities focused on? They are focused on four thematic areas: lives and livelihoods, education, financial literacy and financial inclusion, and environmental sustainability. Um, uh, uh, Modak Sahab, you had also asked a question on uh, uh, physically challenged employees. Today we have about close to fifty physically challenged employees uh, in the bank. Uh, I think with this uh, we come to the end of all the questions that were asked. In case If you have missed out on any questions, please do write a mail to us. We will ensure that we come back to you as quickly as possible. All the, the shareholders who raised issues, specific issues regarding to with regards to servicing, 
and some specific customer issues they have, let me assure you that in the next 24 hours, someone will reach out to you and try to solve it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Amitabh. Thank you for responding to the questions. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your participation on the other board. I really am grateful that you took your time out and I'm pleased to announce the conclusion of the 29th AGM. Please note that the e-voting will remain open for the next 15 minutes. But thank you very much. Thank you.